Good morning, good afternoon, uh, and good evening, and welcome to what appears to be the 37th of December 2020. And this is Quizlemania 25, the 24th anniversary of Quizlemania. I will not stand for anyone's foolishness on the matter. Uh, up front, I'm in a mega anxious place. Uh, so if I'm a little off in this stream, uh, do forgive me, but I also uh, would like to sincerely thank anyone who is tuning in to watch this. Uh, yes, Quizlemania has always sort of been an escape. That's what we've created it to be. Uh, we hope it functions as one. Uh, also, uh, this is a charity stream, of course. Uh, we are raising money uh, for the Mayo Clinic, which is a wonderful cause. Uh, please do check the link at the top of the description. And if you can, uh, please do give generously. Uh, I am Adam, 2021 PA, and I will be your host as four old hands at Quizomania try to start off the new year. Technically speaking, every one of our players has held Quizomania gold. Question is, can they reclaim their former glories as to, or does all our base belong to Tempest? Let us meet our players. Uh, first off, uh, he was the first ever contestant on Quizlemania in 2020, but so far 2021 is also terrible. So why not? It's Mr. Davis. Oh, hello, everybody. Happy New Year. I was just advertised, introduced there. As a former Quizlemania champion, yes, that's, that's true. Well, I mean, technically, technically speaking, yes. And right now, I'm the jam that champion. Genuinely, I'm really good at the moment, and I'm at the top of Wrestle League. I am predicting cards so correctly. Now, this, of course, is the Mister Brody Lee tribute show. I'm repping Mister Brody. Mr. Davis, from the start, an OG member, uh, I would dedicate my win tonight to, to Mr. Brody, but I think that might come across as, as bad because I don't, even I'm not that confident. I can't, I don't think I'll be able to pull that off for the big guy. But whoever wins, yeah, and, <laughs> and donate using the link. That is yeah, you've you've navigated successfully through what could have been choppy waters of a comedy bit there, Mr. Davis. But I, uh, well done. Uh, New Year's resolution: <laughs> win everything. Cool. Uh, so <laughs> uh, next up's Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi. Hi. Uh, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. So I'll tell you what I did today. I spent precious minutes of my life uh, downloading a video off of YouTube, uh, cutting out a small segment of it in Premiere and uh, exporting it because I thought it would be really fun to just play this. Hello, hello, hello. Like at <laughs> random points throughout the quiz. And I mm -hmm. guess it is still fun. Hello, hello, hello. But yeah. it doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's not as funny. No, no. I, I, hello, hello, hello. I still enjoy it um thank you very much for for taking the time to do that that's fine thank you everyone for tuning in uh and for uh trying to distract everyone else from what's happening uh i will i will do my best to come third because that is basically where i'm aiming for um given that i am up against the two greatest minds of this generation but i will do my best and as a tag team quizlemania champion i'll uh I'll hopefully at least beat Mr. Davis. Hello, hello, hello. Cool. All right. Next up. Um, so I, my, my guest to, uh, tonight, obviously, uh, one of the, one of the top guests of uh, of twenty uh, twenty. Some some have even called him the top Quizlemania guest of twenty twenty. Um, he's he's he he's here. He's back. He had conditions. Uh, uh, he wanted me to introduce him in a very specific way uh, because he's got a brand new gimmick, uh, which he has promised to pick up all of our spirits and be, quotes, main event. So uh, I I would like to welcome to the show the great O'Shawn. Uh, hey, Adam. Hi, How's Sean. Yeah. Really? Um... You're really good. Thanks. Uh, really. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. I, I may have oversold this a little bit. Um, as I got dressed up in my wife's robe, uh, a bucket hat from the dollar store and a gift bag with 
great Ocon style writing on it, I realized, you know what, maybe, maybe this isn't such a hot gimmick, but um, what do you want from me? Like, even Steve Austin had the ringmaster, right? Like, even 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 the greatest have have their faults. They ain't all gonna be winners. I loved your match at Wrestle Kingdom. It was fine. You didn't. You you didn't. <laughs> it <was> terrible. <laughs> he's, he's horrible. Great Ocon sucks. <laughs> he's, he's, he's really really bad. That's the only reason that I thought to do this bit, and it's not even a good bit. But my wife did do good drawing this thing. So I'm going to wear it out of respect for her. We put the little feather on here. I don't have a big goofy hat. So I got the Kentucky equivalent, which is a camo hat. It, it's, it ain't good. I'm not going to pretend it's good, Adam. But what do you want from me? I like You want I, me to be myself? You know how much worse that would be? No, I, I've, I've, I've been at point blank range of your personality, Sean. Okay. Let's just keep the let's 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 see if this gimmick pays off. I I, I feel like it will. Who boy. Uh, so now before I bring in the champion, I do think it's important to make the following announcement in case any of you haven't been on Twitter today, which I imagine is probably most of you by now. Uh, but we did tweet this out uh, a few more hours, uh, a few hours ago, and it is important to tonight's broadcast. What's going on, Russell Talk friends and fans? It's Two Title Tempest here, and today is the day of Quizzle Mania 25. But this is a special Quizzle Mania now, isn't it? That's right, it's a charity stream. As you all know, we tragically lost John Huber, aka Brody Lee, last month. And now, we're doing our part to raise 5,000 pounds for the Mayo Clinic organization who treated John. And more specifically, I want to do my part. So, as an added stipulation, if we reach our goal of 5,000 pounds, I will get a Jam That Jam tattoo. So, please visit justgiving.com slash crowdfunding slash quizzlemania25 to donate. Let's try and make a difference. Jam that jam. What a guy. That's right, charity episode. We're raising money for the Mayo Clinic, fantastic organization. It was, of course, the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida that treated John Huber before his passing. And in a bid to try and maximize donations for this incredible cause, your champion Tempest, if we raise 5,000 pounds, not dollars, pounds, then Tempest will get somewhere in his body a jam that jam tattoo. Uh, let's speak to the man that man. It is your champion and mine. What a guy. It's Tempest. Hi, Adam. What are you thinking, lad? Well, hey, I mean, I've got enough, like, really dumb tattoos on my body already. What's one more? And, hey, it's for a good cause. So In, in for a penny, in for 5,000 pounds, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, would you like to know how much we've raised so far, Tempest? I'm slightly concerned, but hit me with it. It is uh it's 1500 pounds mate. You you're you're a shit. third of the way there. It's it's pretty good going. You're going to get a jam that jam tattoo I think. Oh yeah. I mean I will say this. I went into detail a little bit on the Wrestle Talk recap this week about uh Brody Lee aka John Huber aka Luke Harper. I didn't know the man personally, of course. I know people who did know him personally, and I know how much this has affected them. I know what kind of a man that he was. Simply from the perspective of a fan, I've found that nothing makes me connect with wrestling more so than someone betting on themselves and succeeding. Whether it be Cody Rhodes, and this is totally, totally serious, whether it be Cody Rhodes or John Moxley, or in this case, Brody Lee, someone knowing that they are better than what they've been given, going out and succeeding, that just touches me in a different way than most other facets of pro wrestling. So I was a big fan of Brody Lee. And if this is something that I can do to help make any kind of impact in the wake of his passing, then that's worth a few inches of skin. Hell yeah. You are you are quite literally betting uh on yourself uh that like a literal piece of Tempest real estate real estate is up for grabs if we can get um the donations over that five thousand pound mark. And it looks like we've got some momentum going. We've got three thousand people watching the show. We appreciate we appreciate every last one of you. Let's click 
uh, straight into a fun game, shall we? Let's. All right. Welcome to the show, my players, my lovely, lovely players. So, uh, obviously, before the show began, one of the main things that people were talking about was obviously the race for third place happening here along the top row. Uh, but a lot of people very, very excited about SRS versus Tempest, the meeting of two of the greatest minds we've had on Quizzlemania. But before we see these teams compete against each other, I want to see if you can get along. We're going to play the marriage game. <gasps> How will they coexist? How will they coexist? <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, so the way it works is very, very simple. Um, I, I've got six questions for you, and I'm going to ask them to. Uh, oh, I should point out, Ollie is partnered with Andy. And we're of course, really good at this. Historically, we are good at this game. And SRS is partnered with Tempest because it's important to coexist now more than ever uh, so uh, i basically i'm going to uh, roll a dice odds uh, young people answer first uh, evens old people answer first it is uh, odds young people answer first so that is andy and tempest Only just all right so uh first question i'm going to ask andy and tempest to write down uh, no to think of their answer to a question um then Ollie and Sean will have to write down what they think their partner is going to say when they say their answer out loud. If the answer that Andy and Tempest says matches what Ollie and Sean have written down on their paper, then both will get five points. Sounds simple to me. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick us right off into it. Uh, Tempest and Andy. Who has the greatest entrance music of all time? Ooh. Don't even have to think about it. I got I'm it. On, I'm on serious. <laughs> Does Sean have to think? It's too about Serious it. mode, Ollie. I'm not. I'm right. no silly answers. I'm being serious. And th so, thank you, but I, you can't talk to me right now, Andy. That's okay. true, Andy. You cannot talk to me, Andrew. Okay. Please. This was a big bone of contention in the tag team Quizzlemania of Andy and I talking to one another. So mm. let's not repeat. And let's stop talking to Sean. <laughs> so, so I'm also writing down the answer right now. Uh, you, uh, only you and Ollie are writing yeah. down the answers. I'm going to ask Andy and Tempest to say theirs out loud in a second. But first, some super chats. Of course, um, norm the normal system of alter chats is out the window for this week uh if you do want us to read aloud your message please do make a donation of five pounds or more uh to our just giving page at the top of the description you can see it right there it's also pinned in the chat you can't miss it please don't uh chris rain says thank you uh to all of you for what you do hashtag ftf there's a little 2020 throwback and hashtag jam that jam chris rain's given us 20 pounds thank you so much and greg jerry the two-time 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 um Fan Quizzlemania champion uh, has said, happy to donate an RIP Brody Lee question. What's your favorite Rumble match that's not 92? Can't wait for Nugget and Adam in my trivia tournament. That's correct. I will be appearing in the No DQ trivia tournament this year along with Nugget. Have a great game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I would reveal my favorite Rumble match, but you're going to have to wait until Sunday. Oh, I it was a part of the quiz. <laughs> well, I, I know, I know, I know what it is because I'm such a big fan of yours, Adam. Oh, um, I know. I'll well, say I 2007 think... for me. I love that one. Very. Cool. I really, really like. Not just this isn't as recency biased, but I loved 2020. I don't know whether it's because I watched it in the office with Luke and Ollie, but it was, oh, was fun. Edge coming back, um, Drew winning was just like yeah. Sitting there with your with your mates and celebrating something like that is it, it, you rem you remember it so it's a fly in my face. <sighs> 07 seven is a favorite of mine. The uh, the Shawn Michaels Undertaker stuff at the end. Oof. Yeah. I didn't realize until researching for the list. Spoiler that that rumbles on it because it's bloody brilliant. But um, I was I didn't realize that they had not been in the same ring in a match 
um, before the 20, 2007 Royal Rumble. They were in it in the 2003 Rumble both together, but Sean was eliminated long before Taker arrived. Mm -hmm. The last time they shared a ring was literally the casket match at the Royal Rumble in 98. They hadn't, they hadn't duked it out since 1998. That's amazing. Anywho, uh, on to more important things. Holla, holla, holla. Um, Ollie. Uh, I was going to say uh, oh. 2018 was my favorite. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, you're right. I keep doing this. Um, it's me, Andy, sure. I say it. Andy, you aren't. Yeah, I, I, for some reason, <laughs> this is the one <laughs> round that continually trips me up. But I stopped myself this time. Andy, uh, well, please, who has the greatest entrance music? I hope your eyesight's good, Ollie, because on this day, I see clearly oh. Metalingus by Edge. Oh, oh, yeah, that is a good one. I was thinking between those two. I mean, Metalingus, not by Edge. Metalingus. <laughs> by Alter Bridge, yes, indeed. Yes. Um, Tempest, what's the right answer? Well, Sean, you think you know me? Because it's Metalingus. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, oh no. <laughs> It's really I not. have an edge tattoo. <laughs> oh, I need that laugh. Wonderful. Uh, falling at identical hurdles are identical pairs. No points to anyone. We're now reversing it now. So I'm asking this of Ollie and Sean. Uh, write this. Uh, write this down in your brain. Don't write it down in real life. Um, but Andy and Tempest, this is for you to officially write down. Best SummerSlam of all time. So, Andy, what does yeah. Ollie consider to be the best SummerSlam of all time? Tempest, well, I, I hope this is the answer. what does your good buddy Sean consider to be the best SummerSlam of all time? Uh, Bill, Sean's number one fan, says, good luck, SRS. Hopefully you can keep Tempest in check and wishing some type of luck to Mr. Davis. Hashtag FTF. Hashtag, oh, sorry, not hashtag, uh, but rest in power, John. Absolutely. Uh, Wrestling Talk Sign Guy says, one epic clash of champions. Will Smart Fakador continue his reign of dominance? <laughs> Will the Dong Lord overcome Plumpy's attempts to screw him? Will the chat lead Datsun to victory? <laughs> or will Ollie have a ringer? Um, Kenny Shah has given us 50 pounds. That's amazing, Kenny. Uh, no no message, just 50 pounds. You're, you're a true hero. Thank you. And John Plunkett says, great cause to donate to. RIP John Huber. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask, uh, let's go the other way around this time. Sean, uh, what's the best Summer Slam of all time? I'm, I'm going to say, okay, my God. So <laughs> I can't remember which one it is. Of all the things to forget, it's this. Um, <clears throat> I would say either 2000 or 2001. I'm going to go with 2000 because that's the one that sticks out in my head. Oh, Jonathan. Well, the correct answer is SummerSlam 2002. Yeah, that was not the one that I, I, yeah, I I was going to go. Oh, or one. Um, Ollie, what is the best SummerSlam of all time? So true story, I had this on DVD. I had five wrestling DVDs when I was young. Uh, I went to my grandparents for Christmas, took SummerSlam 2000 with me, came back and all the others were stolen. Our house had been robbed. So SummerSlam 2000 <laughs> is very dear to me. Is that, is that your answer? Yes. I mean, this has happened again. <laughs> 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 yeah, I didn't know your I didn't know your burglary story. I tell that sob story all the time. I've never ever heard it in my life. <laughs> to be fair, that this is this is a, a joy to watch. A joy. Um I thought we had that Andy. Uh, yeah, I mean I thousand the one with the triple threat. I like it's it's good, yeah. I guess. But what like, First ever TLC, Shane McMahon getting hit off the top of the Titan Tron by Shane Blackman. Steve Blackman. Oh, yeah. It was a, it was a good SummerSlam. Great SummerSlam. Yes, Taz it was. versus uh, Jerry the King. Tempest, of course, do, Taz do versus the King. Do, do an argument for us for 2002. What, you mean yeah. Rock versus Angle Rock? Mysterio. Angle versus Mysterio. You got Triple H versus HPK? You can tell Any... who grew up in the, in the Ruthless Aggression era here. And greatly overvalues it. I was five at the time. <laughs> <laughs> grew up, grew up during there. Uh, SummerSlam no, 2000 had no love for the British SummerSlam. 
even even the terrible like cat Terry stink face match was so bad that it was memorable there. Like they went seven minutes, man. <laughs> Those two did. <laughs> Well, they had to repeat their clash from WrestleMania 2000, of course. Uh, right, so we're no points to anyone. Lovely stuff. Uh, swipping, uh, switching it back Hello. around. Um, uh, Andy, this is for you to come up with an answer. Tempest, this is for you to come up with an answer. Let's get serious now. Greatest Wrestle Kingdom of all time. Let's get serious now. Greatest Wrestle yeah. Kingdom of all time. Okay. <laughs> can i say uh, very quickly before you get no, to the chat can you no. can you yes it's not related to this okay i was going to do a bit in the intro calling this quizzle kingdom but wasn't really in the mood <laughs> no i mean no, I, I was no. i meant to actually throw that line in my my shitty bit at the beginning of the show but i didn't do it i enjoyed your bit sean Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. <laughs> really do. <laughs> really do. Because yesterday I was like, oh my God, I don't have anything. I, I haven't thought of anything. You messaged me at 9 a.m. Eastern after Wrestle Kingdom. And then a couple hours later, like, hey, you, you going to do this? And I'm like, man, I'm not up yet. I, re I refused to work over my Christmas break, which did mean a hasty putting together of this Quizzle Mania. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell that by my Photoshop thumbnail. Uh, Eric Shepard says, looking forward to Quizlemania 30, where Sean somehow gets Ollie to get an FTF tattoo. Love you guys. And Daltanian says, holy moly, Daltanian has given us 100 pounds oh to God. say it's Quizlemania charity stream day. You know what that means. Hell yeah. All right. So uh, I'm going to start with Andy, um, the premier Wrestle uh, Kingdom fan who works at Wrestle Talk. <laughs> Uh, what's the right answer, Andy? Well, just because it's got my favorite Wrestle Kingdom match on, Wrestle Kingdom 11. Ah, oh, Wrestle Kingdom 12. Ah, ah, oh, ah. We are close. I yeah. Think yeah. Things so close. close. <laughs> what is your favorite Wrestle Kingdom match, Andrew? Oh, Whew. oh, the, the Okada uh, Omega. Sorry. I, I mean, Sean just flashed up. I don't know if Tempest saw it. Tempest yeah, I did not. Kingdom. Yeah, I did not see it. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna change my answer right now. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I saw it. <laughs> Excellent, uh, Tempest. What's the best Wrestle Kingdom of all time? This is a hell of a bit because the best Wrestle Kingdom is Wrestle Kingdom 11 because of Okada versus Omega. <laughs> Come on, can we switch the stop it? Yeah, yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Let's, yeah, let's 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 swap. Rule of three. Tag well, actually, guy. it wouldn't make any difference because we'd be on the same points. Still, we would still be on the same points. It must be a generational thing. Okay, that okay, is a good point. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna we're gonna get some points now. It's fine. Ollie yeah. and Sean, what's the worst WCW pay per view of all time? Fuck, there's so many. <laughs> Uh, Ollie and Sean, uh, the question you will be answering uh, as Tempest and Andrew write is what is the worst WCW pay per view of all time? Kirby, Kirby Pate uh, or Kirby Pate says, uh, I would like to donate uh, but not have it contribute to the Tempest tattoo goal. Is that possible? No? Well, crap. Sorry, Tempest. Jam that jam and thank you, Brody, for the memories. Joshy Boy says, Here's some money for a great cause. Looking forward to having a lovely time with the boys. Jam that jam. And Wonder Boy says, True or false? Brody Lee Jr. can cut a better promo than SRS. Love oh. you guys are doing this hashtag. Oh, you just reminded me. I forgot to wrap my hand in the tape for the bit, the, the iron claw thing. I bought it yesterday, even oh. from the dollar store. Honestly, I, I was at Rev Pro when Great Khan made his debut, and I was like, this is the biggest pile of shit I've ever watched. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then and then, I was watching, was it, what, what show are we watching, Tempest? It was the A Block final of the G1. A Block finals, and he turned up, and I just, oh my God, I was like, what the hell is this knob doing here? He's <laughs> such a bad wrestler. I cannot stand watching him wrestle. It's it's oh, real bad. I, <laughs> love, I love that in 2021 they're like Mongolian chops, iron claws. Let's fucking oh, do it. The, <laughs> my least favorite move. If, if if you know him, you know my least favorite move is the double axe handle. 
I think it's <laughs> shit. And he does it so often. But he do what he does is instead of that, he goes, Whoa! and then does it. And it and it's oh I hate it. <laughs> Wash your mouth, Andy. That is the finishing move of the of Hulk Hogan from No Rolls But No Holds But. No, no holds but. <laughs> no. Um, yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, so Ollie. It. Ollie, 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 Ollie. I, I am just kind of trying to move this move this along. I know. Uh, Ollie, what is the worst WCW pay-per-view of all time, please? Halloween Havoc, 1997. Oh, well. Why? No, I don't really watch it. That was not really mine, but my thing. But I know this is famously bad. Bash of the Beach 2000. Bash of the Beach 2000. Wasn't the Halloween Havoc, 97, the really good <laughs> one? <laughs> It, yeah, that had Mysterio, Mysterio and Eddie. Eddie. That, yeah. that by default. Minus five and stars. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. That's 98. Oh, yeah. well, well, crap. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I, got wrong, I got the wrong year. No, no <laughs> pay per view that has Jacqueline beating Disco Inferno on it can qualify <laughs> as the worst. <laughs> Okie dokie. Sean, what's the correct answer? I'm just, I'm, you know, I don't truly believe this, but I believe this might be the answer. Sold out 97. Oh, that's such a good answer. <laughs> Man, I tried to cheat. I went, I went for New Blood Rising. Oh, my dude. I, try, I tried to actually cheat. I get accused of it all the time. I tried to legit do it. I did this. I went, <laughs> <laughs> come on. We've got him on the record admitting to it finally. Oh, this I entire, tried to cheat earlier. This entire 25 show sting operation worked. I, I, was saying, I was sitting there like that for a while, trying to show Ollie the 11 for Wrestle Kingdom. Ooh. Stop cheating, <laughs> boys. No, I like it. I, I'm, I'm all for this cheating aspect. I mean, it didn't work. <laughs> right, moving on. Uh, moving back to uh, Andy and Tempest. Could someone buy a fucking point? Um, best wrestling authority figure. Oh, gosh. Best wrestling authority Come figure. Come all right. Uh, Eddie Carter says, well done to all the Quizlemania crew. Let's get Tempest a tattoo. Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag team Tempest. Hashtag FTF. Sora Nort says, finally time for the first Quizlemania of the year. Will the Dong Lord regain the title? Will Mr. Davies find out how many rounds of the year there are? And will it finally be Jacques Rougeau? Uh, Declan Ross says, long time viewer, first time caller. We all know your favorite matches, but what's a match you know is crap, but love it anyway? McMahon versus Hogan from WrestleMania. Mania 19 is a bad match, but it's fun to watch. Is it a bad match? I don't I think, think it's, it's a bad match. match. Um, I don't think so. So many Royal Rumbles. I'm a sucker for Battle Royals. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, will, I will literally want any Royal Rumble and enjoy it. Yeah. Especially then, 95. 95 was dog shit. They had mm. Owen, Bulldog, and Sean. That's all that mattered in that match. And they're like, hey, Owen, get out in three seconds, please. <laughs> I remember. Hey, it moved along at a clip, though, didn't it? One minute. Um, <laughs> So, uh, what, what, no, I was gonna say, watching Snooky wrestle pops me as well. She just did the alley oop the oop. Okay, so, um, let's start with Tempest. Tempest, let's not, uh, Tempest. like I know who my favorite is, but I don't think Sean, like, Sean wouldn't know that. <sighs> then, then don't go with that, go with the most basic elementary. Don't, <laughs> no, 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 Ever. no, 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 no. Sure. Oh, Be behave. Yeah. Uh, right, I, don't even, I don't even know what that's considered at this point, honestly. Is my my answer is like two thousand Mick Foley. That's a, that's a good answer. That's a very good answer. But it's not the answer I put. I put Adam Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> have we lost you already? Have we? Sure. Yeah. Attention has just gone. Yeah. I mean, he, he is great. Adam Pierce is wonderful. He's I love tall. it. He's not an authority figure. Oh, but yeah, he is. No, he's oh, not. They did the promo two years ago. What? <laughs> There's no more authority <laughs> figures. They are listening to us. Wait, right. wait, wait, wait. That's not true because we are the authority, is what I was told. Yeah, that's right. Amen. I heard that. Come on, Andy. come on, Andy. Let's get this. Um, that's the right answer. Well, before Tempest said Mick Foley, I thought that there was no chance that they wouldn't get this. So I'm going for Mr. McMahon. He is the best. 
Finally. I, in fact, I think I might have been on an Adam Blompier list at some point that Mr. McMahon was the greatest authority <laughs> figure of all time. Would you all crawl out of my ass? Right. Thankfully, <laughs> we have five points to Mr. Davis, five points to Andy, uh, the for correctly guessing that, yes, of course, Mr. McMahon, greatest uh, wrestling authority figure of all time. <sighs> I thought that, but he's also been really bad for a long time. You yeah, still want to go but... when he was good. Yes. Do you remember when he turned off the lights at Triple H's party? What a heel. Love to see. <laughs> um, and those weird kind of drawn on eyebrows he's got these days. And the fact his hair goes out the middle of his head and kind of swoops over like a weird curtain. What a guy! Uh, it's going to be a weird world without him in it. All right. Uh, finally, this is a question for uh, Ollie and for Sean. We are closing out this first round. This is a chance for Sean and Tempest to tie the points. Worst gimmick ever. Easy. Oh. Easy. Me. Today. <laughs> <laughs> Never, Sean. You're a constant delight. The fans like you. This one's still easy to me. Rocco Scarmack says, more personal to me, uh, my uncle has uh, sarco sarcoidosis. I, I'm, I hope I, I didn't kind of uh, destroy that. Uh, an autoimmune disease of the lungs. Uh, any lung disease is terrifying. And my thoughts and prayers go out to Huber's family. Thank you guys for this, JTJ. Thank you so much, Rocco. Uh, Anonymous has said, can't watch live today, but I can only assume Goldberg will come out and challenge Mr. Davis for the championship. Uh, he wouldn't be able to shove him over, though. Uh, but in all seriousness, thank you guys and prayers uh, for John and the entire Huber family. Uh, Luke Crab Walker says, it's Wednesday. You know what that means. Jam that jam. Jam that jam. And DX Solo and Allison, ah, oh, hello, has given us a incredibly generous £100 to say, we won't be able to watch all of this live, but I look forward to watching the rest when I can. Good luck on raising more than your goal. Keep up the good work. Hashtag FTF. I can't wait to jump into uh, the Just Giving page and see how much we've raised over the course of this one round. You're all incredibly generous. All right, final one. Um, let's start with Sean this time. Sean, Tempest, if you did up? not pick the great Ocon, <laughs> if you did not, great Ocon, oh, oh, no. I was, you know, and I'm not going to give them a possible answer, but I was torn between that and another one, but this just seemed much more specific. I hope you put the other one on bag for this. <sighs> All right, uh, Ollie. I uh, so I doesn't Andy. Say, wait, no, 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 no. you, you, you say, say it. it in terms of what I've done is I've written it down and I've confused myself. Gotcha. Uh, retribution. Oh, yeah. See, I was between two, uh, but neither of them were retribution. I went with the gobbledygooker, in, and the other one was Mantor because I know you like him. <laughs> I have some well, retribution news coming up on fightfulselect.com. I don't have any gobbledygooker news coming up. Well. <laughs> How do you do? Everyone's tied. We might as well have not done that round. <laughs> uh, so let's jump into our scores. In first place with five, it's fucking everyone. Right. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Let's move over to something that will hopefully be better news. Let's go over to our Just Giving page. 73% of the goal, lads. 73%. pounds. <laughs> After one round, I'll well, shit. It. <laughs> I'm getting the tattoo. It looks like you're Tempest. getting the tattoo, Tempest. If it if it gets to seven, apart the from the face and maybe hands, can they choose a neck? Can they choose no. where it is? No, no. no you no, put no, Tempest no. on the spot like that. It's on his face. We agreed that before <laughs> the show. Yeah, I mean, he always wears the mask. No one's gonna see it. All right, All so right. I wanted to start off with a little bit of fun, a little bit of friendly joshing. It was less eventful than I hoped, so we're going to go on to the to the meat, to the competition, to the battle of the brains. It's time for paper feud. Oh, cool. Ollie, should we, Ollie, should we take a break? It's time for some trivia, lads. Right, uh, so you know how this works. You've each got a buzzer. Your buzzer is you saying your own name out loud. Test your buzzers in three, two, one. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, so 
Uh, I'm going to give you matches one by one from a pay-per-view. Uh, the first match is the most obscure. The last match is the most famous. That's the opposite of obscure. Uh, if you get it from the first match, that's five points. Next match, four, then three, then two, then one. You lose a point every time I have to give you an extra clue. Buzz in. Obviously, if you get it wrong, you can't get it right again. Uh, so you are out of that question. There are five questions. Let's see who's got the most points at the end of this. And remember, um, I'll I'll just go with who I hear first, and I apologize for screwing you in advance, Sean. What, what yeah. we've got to do is hope that they jump the gun and go for it immediately, and then we'll wait till it's like the last one. They'll and jump get the one gun point. and get it right, Andy. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it, but it could be like one of those ones where like the match happened at two different pay per views and they get the wrong one. We'll just wait until the last one. All right, here we go. I've never the first this one. Game before. Here it comes. Lex Luger versus Tatanka. Tempest. Ooh. Tempest? It's uh, King of the Ring 93. Fucking right it is. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. Very, very good. I've waited uh, like five games to play this, this round. <laughs> I would have said 94, but... Uh, yeah, so the other matches on the card, Shawn Michaels versus Crush, uh, Mr. Perfect versus Mr. Hughes, the dream match, uh, Bret Hart versus Mr. Perfect, and Yokozuna versus Hulk Hogan. Okay, so that happened. That was quick. This is going to be a quick round, perhaps. All right, so uh, next one. How about this? Chris Benoit versus Orlando Jordan. Ooh, um, oh, um, Andy. Andy. I think I know. Isn't okay. it SummerSlam 05? It is! Wow! <laughs> what? Yeah, I, wa I watched it recently. Well done, oh my, my boy. God. I mean, that was way too quick for the chat to respond. So I love yeah. it. I, I love you, it. Chat. Yeah, but not Google. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot he's plugged into the Matrix. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, so other matches from that card were John Cena versus Chris Jericho. Uh, Edge versus Matt Hardy, Randy Orton versus The Undertaker, and of course, the greatest match of all time, Hulk Hogan versus Shawn Michaels. Uh, so, oh, excellent. You'd love to see it. Um, number three. William Regal versus Naked Midian. Oh, man. Um, uh, Tempest. Tempest? It's No Mercy... 2000. It is indeed No Mercy 2000. Oh, very good. I didn't know that one. Uh, also, on oh, one fact for the uh, people watching at home, the first uh, pay per view I watched uh, like live. I can nice. stand up to watch a little bit of it. Um, started, I, I missed the beginning. I missed the video package. So, like my tape, I recorded on VHS, of course, because I was growing up in in Jersey. Was I, I got there halfway through the uh, the table invitational. What? Bloody... Yeah. What? Have you got internet in Jersey? Sorry, have you got internet in Jersey yet? Uh, he, well, no. We have one guy who's got it, and he just shouts <laughs> what the news is really loud. Uh, yeah. So, other matches on that show: uh, Right Sensor versus Billy Gunn in China, Triple H versus Chris Benoit, Steve Austin versus Rikishi, and The Rock versus <laughs> Kurt Angle. Where Kurt Angle won the title? Fun stuff. All right. So, next up, uh, number four. Hopefully these will be harder. <laughs> Seamus versus Mark Henry. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh that there, there's be a been couple. a few. Mm. I don't know about on pay-per-view. Um, I... Ah, ah, um, no. Sean. Sean? SummerSlam 2011. I'm afraid not. <gasps> Thought they did. We're actually uh, going to a second match. Oh going to a second match. Exciting Ooh. stuff. Tempest, I'm disappointed. Uh, I, next, Ooh. can I not guess now? Yeah, if you'd like to. Is it Extreme Rules 2013? Tempest, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it was between those two. It was, it was oh, one or the other. It was a crap. Was, was that match on both? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was on Summer. I mean, yeah, that match was on both. Sure. I think. Yeah, so Chris Jericho versus Fandango, Dean Ambrose versus yeah. Kofi Kingston, John Cena versus Ryback, Last Man Standing, and of course Brock Lesnar versus Triple H. It's a cage match, one with the stupid <laughs> silver hammer. This is the difference between Wrestle Talk Legends Night and WWE Legends Night. Instead of 
Drew McIntyre doing Hogan's poses. I'm here doing Tempest poses with him. Like I'm putting <laughs> him over. <laughs> I'm All letting right. people know that he's the guy. He's the next big thing. Yeah. Uh, right. He's kind of Why shoving down their throats, Tempest. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, he's, he's the chosen one. No, no, no. Right right listen off. to him, Tempest. He's oh. the one that they want you guys to cheer for. How am I going to screw Tempest? They Everybody don't want you to go to the, the merch store that apparently lost the URL. Who would have done that? Not me. Definitely. I didn't, I didn't make that happen or anything. They don't want you to buy an FTF shirt. They want you to support Tempest. And I was told to make him look strong, and that's what I'm here to do. Oh, Thanks, my goodness. You're not a man. You're a machine, <laughs> Tempest. <laughs> Right, uh, final final one before we get into some uh, points. Well, let's let's see let's see what we can do. All Not right, for me. <laughs> uh, final one, uh, pay per view number five, The Miz versus Dean Ambrose. Oh, for Christ's sake, that could be like I was going to say, couldn't that be like fourteen different pay per views? <laughs> Anyone have a guess, or do they want to move along? I have a couple guesses. But I'm I know, not going to do it. Um, it was on. Because I've, I think I reviewed it once, but I don't know whether it's that one. I'll see you, see you yeah. on the next match. I might be able to get it after this. The gamble. Is it not worth the gamble? It is no. worth the gamble. Not after. No, I'll, I'm gonna, basically, as soon as I see the next match, I'm just going to scream. Okay. Yeah. Rich Swan and Seven. 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 Oh. I heard Tempest first. <laughs> what? I heard Tempest <laughs> first. <laughs> I didn't hear Tempest <laughs> at all. Let's, let's just go Sean. Instead, uh, I think I think you'll go Tempest because it's Extreme Rules 2017. <laughs> oh <Yeah>. my <laughs> word! You know what? Like it's it's fine. It's it, it's match upable. I'm sure I it. knew that because it yeah. was, that was first, that... first match I ever reviewed on my old wrestling blog, which is before I started the first sorry first show I ever. I didn't review this match alone. <laughs> um, yeah, the first show on my old blog on my old blog Horns Bloggle. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most andy datson name of a blog i've it. ever heard yeah. uh, so I, also i, on the I do view. miss the, the the combination of gnome dar and alicia fox just for the the gnome dar fox. <laughs> <laughs> um, alexa bliss versus bailey was also on the card oh. uh, i think this is the one where she was afraid wretched of match uh, the Bar versus the Hardys cage match. Um, and, of course, the Fatal Five Way, where Samoa Joe punched his tickets to great balls of fire. Uh, righto. Um, that is the... Uh, let's let's have a look at the scores. Uh, in joint last place, neck and neck, you might say, <laughs> of equal skill level, Brothers right. in Arms, Ollie Davis and Sean Ross Sapp. Oh, to be real, we shared the same brain from the start of this show. It was obvious. <laughs> 2021 is our yes. year, sure. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, in second place with 10, Andy Datsun, a very respectable 10. 10 boy. points, I'll take that. In first place, Tempest with 24. Right. I'm just so here to here to smile on camera and collect my check from <laughs> catering. That's it. That's that's what I'm here for. Hey, did you Tempest? Did you know that Cardi B is in this next room over here? <laughs> oh yeah. Cardi B. I'll go alert Lacey Evans. Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Next up. Maybe, maybe we'll claw some points back because it's that's my line. Oh, oh shit. Christ. <sighs> So, um, you know the way this works. Um, I give you 20 points, uh, and you can ask yes or no questions to try and work out who it is you're talking about. Um, and yeah, every every point, every question that you ask me, which isn't the correct answer, will lose you a point until you're down to none. Uh, so I've got the point tracker here. Um, so uh, normally we go in last place to first. We have two players in last place. So odds uh, for Ollie and evens for Sean. That is a four. That's Sean. You'll be going first. Can I please have a number between one and six? Five. Five it is. All righty. So I have your person's information. I await your first question. Is this person billed over 242 pounds? <laughs> Scroll. Uh, no. Mm. 
are they an active wrestler? Okay. Are they an active wrestler in WWE right now? No. Are they signed to an, a, a major American promotion right now? Be, are, okay. Are they signed to WWE, Impact, ROH, or AEW right now? Yes. <laughs> Doesn't feel like narrowing down. <laughs> Is this a female? No. Is there a slight tapping on anyone else? You're clicking, yeah. yeah. Andy, is it your knee? It's your probably knee my leg. I, I have got restless leg. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> I'll prop it up on this chair so that I can't shake it. Ow! I still hear it. I don't think your leg's that fast, my it man. Be, hang on. Let me let me let me mute Andy. Sounds like a river dancer. Yeah, it's Andy. It's your, it's your terrible laptop, friend. Wow. Hey, Mr. Davis bought me this laptop. I hope you kept the receipt. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure nothing is rattling. <laughs> I don't know, mate. I, I, look, I'm just going to mute you till it's your turn. Lots of love. Right. Uh, okay, sure. okay. Are they signed to AEW right now? No. Are they signed to Impact right now? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Less than 242. That's the entire impact roster. Um <clears throat> so I could have I mean I promise I'm not trying to, to have dead air right now. Yeah, that's cool. People like the tension. <laughs> Are they a former or current champion in Impact? Yes. And it's a man. I could just run down the line, I guess, in my head. Um, have they ever wrestled for WWE before? Yep. Okay. So, as I think of it, it um, is it Rich Swan? No. Fuck. It ain't Rhino. He's bigger than that. Is it Eric Young? It is Eric Young. 11 Ooh, points. Well done. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'll uh, even come back. <laughs> you, um, Eric Young build just shy at 232. So he's, he ain't 232. EC3 is 215 pounds. <laughs> Come on. Shout out to Eric Young. He's a Toronto Maple Leafs fan, so I'm a fan of Eric Young. He supports my team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Josh Jostad has uh, given us 100 pounds. Oh, Christ. Uh, uh, I, I still can't believe we lost Brody Lee. It's been a tough few weeks, but I'm glad to see Rest Talk coming through as great lads once again. Hashtag RIP uh, Brody Lee. Hashtag throw that paper. Hashtag jam that jam. And D cyanide says hailing from Rochester, New York. The loss of Brody just felt different. Thank you for all you. Uh, thank you for all you guys do. Even SRS jam that jam FBF and mo <laughs> most support support Pardon, pardon me. The fuck's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Even it, SRS. It was a real sincere message, really, wasn't oh, like, it? I don't, like, I don't oh, contribute boy. anything here. Uh, Sean Blanford has given us 103 pounds to say <laughs> with an eye being kept on the anarchic chaos that is currently going on. What you are doing and continue to do is a simple reminder of the good that is out there in the world. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll settle for not being terrible. That that'll do. That'll do. Quizzle Mania. Right. Before we get into this, might I? I just want to air one grievance, Ollie. <laughs> Of all the things that were in the best of 2020 Quizzlemania, Brutality was not among them. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't listen to Rhea Ripley's theme song without thinking, this is my Brutality anymore. <laughs> that was the username of someone yeah. who sent in a, a chat. Yes, they sent me some very personal and eerie DMs as well. But just after I fired Luke. Yeah. Was it then? <laughs> kind of yeah, I like I couldn't, I couldn't, stay, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't keep all... the, the, the sad face on during Yeah. <laughs> you're all trying to act like really shocked, and then they were like, 
brutality. <laughs> Shocking moment. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Okay, so right. uh, it's Ollie time. Step on up, Mr. Davis. Uh, right, so we've uh, removed that. So give me a number between one and five. One. Ah, interesting. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh okie dokie so uh i have your person's um uh information hit me are they a man yes are they currently active yes are they caucasian no hmm. have they held a top wrestling championship yes are they currently signed to WWE? Yes. Did they debut in WWE post 2010? No. These are good questions. These are excellent questions. Yeah, I'm very impressed. I wrote them down. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I fall down, though. This See, is yeah, I did no preparation, and you did a lot. Well, I did it while true. you were doing it around. You made your you made your <laughs> your gimmick, didn't you? You you yeah. put that on a piece yeah. of paper. My my wife did that. She oh, did okay. all the credit for that that gimmick. It had the S's that you drew in high school. Yeah, she asked me, "Do you want the the smile S's?" And I said, "Yes, I did. I do." Is it is it Kofi Kingston? No. Mm. Oh, that's what oh, I that's thought. A good guess. That's what I thought. That's a good guess. Up. Oh yeah, that's, boy. A, good, that's a good guess. Currently active, signed to WWE, man, not Caucasian, debuted before 2010. Are we, sorry, qualifying question, but you can take it as another question. Are we count in WWE, it would be because it was pretty, ignore that, thinking out loud, stopping that dead air, just going to babble, babble <laughs> while I think. Do, uh, do, 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 do. Still active in WWE and held a top title. I must be missing someone obvious. I, th I think I've got it. I think I do too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it is really <laughs> obvious. No, it's not. Um. Oh no! This is the this is the bit that we always fear. It's the brain stool in the freaking. <laughs> uh, oh, I. I I've just got my other questions were which eras they were in. And now that doesn't apply. He's feeling hot. He's in the skillet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we really should name this part. Of the, we really should rename this round after after that. That's my skillet. Are they currently on Raw? No. Oh. No, I, I don't know then. Yes. No, me neither. <laughs> yes, I do. According, yes, according I do. to Wikipedia. I do know. I do know. Signed to SmackDown. I mean, Roman Reigns? You, okay. No. Who <laughs> debuted <laughs> before 2010? <laughs> ah, crap. Ah, I forgot my own. I forgot one of the things <laughs> I asked. Was the question debuted in... WWE before 2010 or debuted before 2010? Uh, debuted in WWE before 2010. Yeah. Uh, I know who it is. Not Caucasian. Oh, man. This is <laughs> up to, uh, up to 4.4K viewers. This round is a proven draw. I yes. don't understand how this round is such a draw. It's because we but... shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably the one that the fans can like. I can't it's think why, you talk. The fans I can't think why you talk. Sorry, Ollie. Please do continue. Just, just complete silence, please. <laughs> I know who it is. Hola, hola, hola. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. I, oh, man. Hey, Sam, have, you, have you got a Tempest? I know who it is. I don't I'm hungry. Okay. I'm Rustra and now I can. Have they wrestled on TV this year? That's a good one. Yes. Ooh. SmackDown. 
uh, I just uh, say. So hang on. Have they wrestled on TV this year? Yes. I don't know who it is. What? You know what it is, right? I review SmackDown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they wrestled on that show. Is that your second question of whether they wrestled on SmackDown? Yeah. But that's but that's implied in the first question. Mm -mm. No, it's not. What have they wrestled this year? Versus, there's only been one SmackDown show. They're signed to SmackDown. They're currently active oh, this year. Fuck! I thought you meant like a like twelve in the last twelve months. Oh, oh. Well, that's you know it's 2021, right? Yeah, come on, this year. That's why it's it was a good a question. question. It's a good question. It really <laughs> is. I'll give you the point back. How about that? I think that's fair. Yeah. Have they wrestled in the last two months? No. Oh my god. So they they might not be someone they might be someone who's currently out. <laughs> so sort of like someone if they're if they're on Wikipedia, this is post draft. <laughs> so I love confused. it when Adam takes the glasses down his nose. <laughs> I can't risk like your head teacher. I, I <laughs> if they if they haven't wrestled in the last two months, I don't know who it is. Hang on. <laughs> it's like this has become a team effort. <laughs> Come on, Ollie. <laughs> right, they have. Yes, oh, I know who it oh. is then. See, he keeps doing this, and I think all of us know who it is. But oh. Ollie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, they have. Yes. I think I know who it is now. Yeah, it's Jackson Riker. <laughs> <laughs> He's on Raw. <laughs> I, I, I sincerely apologize. I'm sure the, ch the chat is killing me. But uh, no, he, he <laughs> has wrestled within the last two months. Oh, my God. I should have it. I should have it because there's no one else right than this person right. based on the questions I've asked, but I cannot think. <sighs> just start. Just start. I'm just going to uh, start. I'm just going to start naming people. I know they're Caucasian. Okay. <laughs> and I know. Are we allowed to give, him have, hit, give him tips. <laughs> Wait, you're saying you, you know they're Caucasian. No, no, no! I said the people I'm going to suggest. I just need to say some things <laughs> yeah. to get it out of my head. He they're going to be wrong. They're going to be wrong. Okay, so, uh, you, are these are these official guesses you're about to give me. Yes. Oh, okay. Let yes, me just get your point it, ready. Do it, Chad. Oh, guess what? I just need to say it. I just need to say it. <laughs> Why do you need to say it? <laughs> because, <laughs> because I'm stuck. There's like champion, there's a Chad Gable wall in front of me. <laughs> If you ask me to Chad draw Gable. a Caucasian person, I would... Okay. <laughs> the former world champion, Chad Gable. Who debuted what? before 2010. I just want to see what, what all he guesses at this point. Why did you <laughs> so say So obvious. It? Come on, keep why going. Why did you say Chad Gable? I told you why. I told no, you why no, before I said it. Luke, you don't have to say it. He doesn't live in your I brain. I do have to say it. He does <laughs> live in my brain. <laughs> Go do some more. There's some more Lars Sullivan. How is this happening? Baron Corbin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Are you immolating yourself? Why are you doing Bryan? this? Daniel Bryan. <laughs> Daniel <laughs> Bryan? No. <laughs> it's Ray Mysterio. Yes, it's yeah. Ray Mysterio. Yes. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, it's not. Oh, oh, it is. It, it is. Of course, it it's Rey Mysterio. Because he's be? not Caucasian, is but he? It but it worked, didn't it? Didn't it? I had to say Chad Gable, Aaron Corbin, <laughs> Daniel Bryan before my subconscious would serve up the correct answer. Thank okay. you. Okay. Well, I know that he's not a sponge that lives under the sea, so I will say SpongeBob <laughs> first just to make sure that's definitely wrong. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that I don't, I don't know why that made me so angry. Hey man, <laughs> your fucking I, asthma. I appreciate that. As someone with ADHD, if something gets in my head, I sometimes just have to say it. Oh man, I've got it too, but I would never have said Chad Gable, <laughs> non Caucasian. Oh yeah, I, then, I might not have then, said Chad Gable, but I might have said people I knew weren't Caucasian. The follow up was 
Baron Corbin. Like, because what I would have done is said people who I knew aren't Caucasian, if I didn't know the answer. Top 10 whitest men <laughs> the WWE. Is it Otis? Uh, right. It was, it was a tale of two halves because uh, the first half, everyone was saying, what such good questions. <laughs> <laughs> they were really, really good I'm questions. Such bad guesses. But I mean, all of us knew it by like 12, I think. <sighs> right. Okay. Uh, Andy. Yeah. Follow, I, I laugh at Ollie, but yeah. <laughs> right. Hang on. Have so, I stopped can... vibrating, by the way? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You sound, you sound better. You sound better. Okay. So uh, can I get a number between one and four, please? Lucky number three. Oh, righty Roo. Number three. Hate that number. Okay, you are ready to go. My real lucky number 12. Uh, right. Uh, is it a man? No. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Typical Datsun reaction. Um, are they currently signed to WWE? Yes. Yes. Right. Are they signed to the main roster? Yes. Are they on SmackDown? No. Okay, well, that's still an, a small amount of people. Are they... Before, actually, before I ask this, I'm going to see how many Caucasian people there are on, on Raw. Um, <laughs> if it helps you as much as it helped Ollie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are they... Have they challenged for a championship in the last year can back to cage match i go <laughs> <laughs> sorry no worries. Like four people because there's just a stream of people who keep doing it all right let's have a look at matches in you the last in the last year uh I'll ask me the question again have they challenged for any championship the last year so i mean raw women's or Oh, sorry. I guess it means top women's or women's tag. Yes. Right. Okay. Is she blonde? Oh, sorry. Uh, yes. Is it Dana Brooke? No. I feel like she's probably challenged for a tag. Uh, is it? Is it the Omni Flare? No. Uh, oh no, she's on SmackDown. Uh, Mandy Rose. Is indeed Mandy Rose. 12 points to Andy. All right, there we go. Uh, Very nicely played. Very nicely played. Nothing wrong with that at all. 22 points you're currently on. Uh, let's go to Tempest. Tempest. I hate this round. Oh, that was so... Andy, that was such a sorbet of, of a go. I, I can't tell you how much you've cleansed oh my palate. I mean, it does really help when it's... Woman currently active in WWE main roster. There's like eight people who it could be. <laughs> I, did have a three. One. I did have a tough one. I'm going to go to the toilet now. I've done one. Tempest, can I get a number between one and three, please? Uh, let's go with number two. Number two, absolutely. And I am ready to go when you are. <clears throat> okay. Uh, is it a man? Yes. Okay. Uh, is this wrestler currently active? Okay. Um, hmm. Chad Gable. <laughs> um, is... Hang on, hang on. Let me uh, hang on, hang on. Let me check. Uh -oh. <laughs> Just, In the I've, I've been caught, I, I'm gun shy now. I am gun shy. Right. Um, I love cage know. match. We have a, a, a nice uh, resources section with pro wrestling free agents over at Fightful.com. Okay. The Rock and Roll Express are listed. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> okay, so I can infer what you're meaning there. So uh, they don't work for WWE, but they make sporadic indie appearances is what I'm taking from that. That's not a guess or anything. I'm just talking, thinking out loud. Uh, <sighs> did they wrestle for WWE during the Ruthless Aggression era? That's a good question. <laughs> What's been asked? Sorry, just quickly. Oh, yes. Yes. Are they male? Are they active? And it seems like they're somewhat active. Did they wrestle in the Ruthless Aggression era? Yes. Is it Carlito? No. 
That was quick. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Green Walls 2017. Um, why, did you give hmm. him, why did you give him a David Brent voice? <laughs> <laughs> I was really it's confident in that one. I really wanted it to be Carlito. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, have they... Has this wrestler held a top championship in WWE? No. Come on. You, you know if they do that, they're wrestling full-time somewhere at this point. Probably WWE. Yeah, there were some bad champions. Um, have... Were they ever a mid-card champion in WWE? Clara, uh, list what you would clarify as a mid-card champion. Intercontinental. I won't, I won't tell United you which one, but list, list what you Inter- would count. Intercontinental or United States. No. I know who it is. All right. Well, then it's something other than that. I think I know who it is as well. Oh. Huh. What other titles were there? What? I mean, okay. There, there were there were a lot of titles. Uh, I may take yeah. the opportunity as me dressed as a pimp to say, by the way, when I said damn when it was a woman, that's just a running <laughs> joke in the office. I don't hate women. <laughs> I think I once said that I don't like Natalia and I don't like Nia Jax. And Luke was like, do you like any women? And then they, and I think then that was born from that. <laughs> were they just, ever... Were they ever ECW champion? Yes. Oh, yeah. that narrows it down. I know, that I know all of down. these. I do. Um, okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. Um, hmm. Are they Caucasian? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, is it Rob Van Dam? No. Wait. No, 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 no. I take that no, back. I take that back. No, no, no. no. Don't answer that. Don't That's answer that. Count. I don't That's want the count. answer. I don't want the answer. That's a terrible guess. I retract that guess. You didn't answer it. Do not take a point away, good sir. Kind, kind, uh, omnipotent Adam. You know, um, what, you know what, Tempest? Ah, yeah. No. To be I'm honest, you, fin- you finished the word. Sorry, but I didn't Chris. get the answer. All right. I mean, but you you answered it yourself, I think. Yeah. Okay. Such a stupid guess. God damn it. Mm, I know. Uh, all right. Find Not big show. It's not. Uh, it's not it's Lashley. Shut up, Andy. <laughs> it's not Lashley. It's not Vince. Um. Uh, it's not Morrison. It's not Punk. Uh, it's not Chavo. Um, is it Tommy Dreamer? No. Ooh. Good guess. What? <laughs> Sean's reaction suggests it's someone really obvious. <laughs> oh, oh, I missed. Who? What the heck? What? Can I just steal the points? Let me steal the points. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. Robin Dan Big Show, Lashley, Vince, like Morrison works for them, so it's not him. It's not Punk. Chavo's not Caucasian. Kane held a top title. Mark Henry's not Caucasian. Uh, Matt Hardy held a mid card title. Uh, Jack Swagger held a mid-card title. Christian's not active. And Ezekiel Jackson's not Caucasian. You, you, you might as well try it. It, it worked last time and look what happened. <laughs> <ended up. laughs> in, interesting. Um, yeah. in, interesting tempers. That's also how I would have gone through all the champions. Um, yeah, and I'm sure. And rolled them out. What? Um, what? Were, all right. Uh, were they ECW champion in the original ECW? 
Yes. I don't know that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think everyone was screaming at the screen while you were listing off all the WWE ECW champions. It's Ruthless Aggression Era. You know, ah, oh, damn it. My knowledge of ECW is not as it's not as good. Is it uh is it the sand no, not him. He wasn't champ. Was he? I won't I take know. that point, Tempest. I didn't, didn't, I didn't finish. finish it. Yeah. He I'm just said so bad at this. It's it's sand. I'm okay with that. I'm so bad at this round. I hate it. Oh Sean, Sean doesn't mind. Yeah, I know. Not at all. I know, it's yeah. okay. Um sand hmm. gets everywhere. I don't like sand. It's no. cool. It's rough and irritating. <laughs> it gets everywhere. Not like, Not like you. you. <laughs> you're, everything, <laughs> you're everything soft. <laughs> Stop it. Not from you, Andy. I can't hear those words from you. Oh, goodness. Oh, Lord. We oh, shouldn't have done it. <laughs> um, Would you like to hear Andy saying holler again? Will that I'm help? Sure, lady. Go for it. Yeah. Holla, holla, holla. Is it Kelly okay. Kelly? It's not Rhino. Um, <sighs> Sean's going to eat his own hand. Is it Sabu? No. <sighs> Who the hell is still wrestling that wrestled in ECW? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Why did I have to pick number two? How, um, how many points between Sean and Tempest at the moment? Uh, Like... 12. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, if, if I hit zero, yeah, yeah. If you crash out, then everyone did with a chance. Who the fuck was in was ECW champion? Oh my god, I've watched maybe like two ECW shows in my life. Well, we found out we found Tempest's Achilles heel, haven't we? Yeah, and honestly, we're change the entire last round now. <laughs> uh okay. ECW TV champions. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God. Um, it's not it's not Shane Douglas. It's like all the famous ones. Um he didn't wrestle in the Taz didn't wrestle in the Ruthless Aggression era. Uh, uh what the hell? It's not Rhino, because Rhino held the US title. You've said Rhino um, so many times. Is it Chad Gable? I'm going to have to ask you to stop telling me who it isn't, Tempest. Start telling me who it is. Yeah, I know. Oh, um, Tempest. I don't like seeing sad Tempest because you're going to get no, tattooed okay. at the end of this. Oh, I am. I sure am. Um, you also okay. have to get the name of this person tattooed underneath it. Yeah. Uh. Um, my, my whole mind has gone blank. I ECW is not my wheelhouse at all have um, you tried saying chad gable and baron corbin because honestly it produced results as it much did. as it did say ezekiel jackson he <laughs> said literally the worst that can happen is that you are still 12 points ahead is it fucking mikey whipwreck it is not mikey whipwreck you um, once told me that Virgil politic to hold him down in WCW. Now, I, I've known Tempest a while, Robert. and he's quite a composed man. This is the most flustered I think I've ever seen him. I love it. I, love I think it. so. He's, he's, his head's gone. <clears throat> I'm I sorry, that, was, that probably isn't helping. He's a hothead. I think I was. I think I was more flustered when we were trying to get the smoking guns. Uh, just because <laughs> you had, you had Lou, not having Louie here is a big help. I'm having much more fun. <laughs> Poor Louis. Hey, Louis. 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 Yeah. Let's not <laughs> talk about that. He's cool. uh, right. Um, yes. Come on, come on, Tempest. Let's, let's do this. Hit me. Goddamn title. Um, I'm not sure it matters anymore. Just name people. I did. I, I already guessed Sabu. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to get him again, it might I help. I would not. I would not. I literally Sabu. only know. I only know like five ECW champions. It seems. Um, who the fuck was in the original ECW? Chris Chetty. Chris Chetty was in it. Nova was in it. Yeah. Blue Meanie yeah. was in it. Yeah. Thanks. I've got a fact about the Blue Meanie. <laughs> oh yeah. I bet you do. I bet you do, Adam. <laughs> um, oh, for Christ's sake! Like Karina was never in Aida. WWE. Uh, Tanaka was never in WWE. Um, 
I didn't expect this to happen, Tempest. I'm really sorry. I've I literally have no idea. You've picked the worst possible promotion to quiz me on. Now, but that's okay. Fair, you picked two. This <laughs> true. This is what happens is, is we go like, all right, we've got to hurry up now. And then we talk about how you don't know for 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, hey, we really rushed through that uh, <laughs> that, that paper feud round. Um, yeah, you're right. You've got to have knowledge over like, it, all, overall knowledge. Is it Raven? Yeah, it's Raven. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raven. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Yeah, it was Raven. Yeah, it was Raven from yeah, the very beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Raven. Yeah, it was the whole time. He didn't <laughs> change it halfway through. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it was Raven. I, no, to be to be fair, if you don't know ECW, like fair fucks to that. Sure. But, um yeah, it was it was Raven. Um gosh, I miss Luke. I miss him every day. Uh right. He's coming back next week. He's it's not, it's not gone. <laughs> so, I, I know. I just well, doesn't fight him he, again. He, he actually told me that that Ollie didn't have COVID. Actually, I reached out to him and I <laughs> said, "You really ask?" I oh, said, did, uh, "Does Ollie have COVID? Is he okay? Were you gonna put that on fight for?" Or maybe, maybe I asked, asked <laughs> Louie. Yes, yes, I am. And then, right. then you all won't report it until I do put it on there. <laughs> 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 selective oh, reporting. I have COVID. <laughs> okay. Actually, I might have asked Louie. Now that I think of it. <laughs> Here we go. So, uh, points as they stand, and then we'll go over to the charity amount. Uh, points as they stand in last place with 12. That would be Mr. Ollie Davis. Uh, in third place with 16, that would be Sean Ross Sapp. In second place with 22, Randy Andy Datsun. In first place with 31, it's Tempest. So it is not a done deal uh however what is a done deal we have raised so far five thousand seven hundred and forty nine english pounds sterling oh, uh, wow. where's it going where's it going tempest uh, i'll probably add it to this arm quite honestly um yeah i'll get on that that's a thing that's happening so well it all well serious done, everyone well done, everyone. You know, yeah, I, we were uh, we were slightly concerned that the world events going on right now may uh, distract from the show and make it uh, a bit harder to you know to get donations in. But uh, you guys have proven us wrong, so thank you very much for that. And tattoos coming. I'll what's, start what, making some. What's calls. the record, Adam, that we've raised before? Uh, seven, I think. Um, I think that. Yes, I, I, I can tell you. Is that uh, for your hair? No, I think my hair was five. Um, we have raised the most we've raised uh, was for Calm uh, way back, Quizmania 10. Right. Was awesome. Uh, but then we have eclipsed. Actually, no, we've not quite eclipsed. We'll very almost uh, eclipse the amount we raised for Calm at uh, Quizmania X7. Uh, but that, that had... Peak? No, that was my hair. Oh, okay. Uh, Pete raised. Uh, how much did Pete raise? Five, five grand for Pete's hair, I believe, was five grand. I think. Yeah. So it's yeah, we we're doing very well. Well yes. done, everyone. Awesome. Is the point. Uh, and I do want to before we move on to the final round, I do want to shout out because uh, this is, uh, pardon my French, fucking incredible. Uh, and if this isn't a mistake. Uh, what a what, what a legend uh simply put matthew uh has said thank you for all the enjoyment in this dark time r.i.p to john huber enjoy the jam that jam tattoo tempest and donated one thousand pounds wow Whoa. holy wow shit. thank you matthew Can yeah. you that that's that was a mistake, but that's thank you so much <laughs> thank you that's incredible that's uh, unbelievable what generosity it's like someone desperate to get you inked tempest yeah <laughs> oh yeah i think you, might, you should skip the last round and just go ahead and get it done i, I think it should have you do it yeah at least <laughs> or very or at least choose the tattoo artist you know what if his one, one of his friends or something uh, that's that's in, that's insane to me that's so generous uh tell you what uh just for that tempest will put uh your name somewhere on his body as well <laughs> uh, along with raven and of course jam that jam uh amazing 
uh, we've seen. Uh, uh, it's good to get a, a shining display of human kindness tonight. Thank yeah. you very, 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 very much. Uh, we're moving on now to the final round. Uh, one uh, fewer rounds than normal, but uh, I compensated for making sure that they're the long ones. It is indeed survival of the people who know the most about a very Let's specific go. wrestling category. Uh, ten, the difference between last place and first place is 19 points. So this is all to play for. One, first, I... first up. Here we go. First up, WWF Intercontinental Champions reverse chronological order. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you, or the eagle memory amongst you, will know this is a, a one we've done before. Mm -hmm. And that's true. Back in the Halcyon days where we only had idiots on Quizzlemania, uh, we did this one. But now that we've got Sean Rossap and Tempest, I feel like we're giving this one a fair shake. Uh, Righto. Um, is, this, is this when it became, was this WWF? So when it stopped being WWE in 2002? S sorry uh let or me let, is it the one it's... that's current <laughs> you forgot that. they changed their name I remember 20 years uh, ago. i he, he wasn't big on that era so let's start with let's go wwf Look, I I was forgot... say, that, would, that would be oh. much harder <laughs> i forgot to get the f out i'm very because very to sorry. me that would be much Good. easier <laughs> because i'm not sure i could have done one uh right nick thompson uh while you make a little list i'm gonna read out a bunch of super chats yes. uh, from our incredibly <laughs> generous uh gosh we have 37 pages of chats to read out we're on page five so i'm gonna Sorry. blitz through a few 37 people are great when you give them the opportunity huh uh nick thompson uh, happy new year everyone for the royal jamble you should try and royal yeah the jam that jamble uh should you should try and predict who comes out at each place for extra point my personal best is two well i did that last year <laughs> do, you, do you remember it was yes. uh who was it was it was um, elias and then rowan elias and then rowan well technically i did get the number one right as well so that is three so of yes of course uh matt hirsch says what a great cause kudos to all of you by leading by example and showing that even condiments can support each other jam that mayo uh finn brennan says not working this week so i get to watch quizomania live again life is good jam that jam rob burwell says thank you for putting this together wrestle talk parts of unknown family we lost a great human being in john huber so i'm glad to help in any way that i can jam that jam 36 pounds thank you so much zachary mckinley says hey guys hope you're having a wonderful new year so far what's the biggest thing in wrestling you're looking forward to in 2021 Crowd, well, yeah, <laughs> crowd. Uh, I, I, I would hopefully assume that we would have crowds in 2020, but you know, I put my hand up. I could be wrong about that. Uh, I would have said the Rumble last year, but uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it, but not as much. As I crowd. would, I would like to think that at some point in 2021, we'll get the blood and guts match in AEW. Yeah, and I would be very excited for that. For sure, that's a very good shout. Um, uh, I think mine is probably not not worrying about my favorite wrestlers getting, uh, <laughs> getting ill um, and not yeah not having to report on this anymore. I like reporting on good wrestling, nice wrestling. Who's <clears throat> not? Oh look, there's been another outbreak. Yes, not fretting whenever you see Ric Flair. You know, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a nice thing. Um, Anonymous has just given us forty quid. Thank you so much. Um, Roll Tide Daddy says, Happy New Year, gentlemen, and SRS. Uh, who is everyone's dark horse pick to win the Royal Rumble? Hashtag jam that jam, hashtag dong that lord, hashtag roll that tide. Um, so we, I mean, we're all, you know, well, some of us are more into know than others. Obviously, Andy runs the, the website, but um, do, do we want to speculate? Because I mean, like, okay, other than the other than the heavily rumored names, who who do we think is in the role? Mm. You know, you know, John also runs a website. Yeah, I do actually <laughs> run a website. <laughs> Andy runs the Wrestle Talk website. <laughs> um, see, see, I've actually asked uh, Mr. Source, Mr. Saucy, not to tell me um, because I like not knowing the Rumble. I don't mind knowing other things, but don't tell me the Rumble. Um, it's hard to have a dark horse for the Rumble. Because it's kind of like there's really kind of two people really um, at any given time. I would like Big E to win. I'd like to think, yeah, I think that's my pick as well. Like I like to think they can still turn around the kind of momentum that he no longer has. But 
Yeah. But like, because he's favourite right now, I don't think he's going to because it always changes about an hour before the show. Yeah. You know, he's not the favourite now, actually. No? The, the odds have changed in the last few days. Uh, right now, uh, Daniel Bryan is the favorite. Oh, yeah, cool. to win yeah, it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's who I think is going to win it. Yeah, yeah. me too. Uh, isn't it? Isn't it weird to not be? No, it's, it's not that we're not enthused. It's just that of all the years for Daniel Bryan to win the fucking Royal Rumble, <laughs> the one without a fucking crowd. Well, yeah, a smooth seven years late on that. Yeah. <laughs> just, just a hair <laughs> off. Cheap plug, I got an 8,000 word Royal Rumble feature dropping in a couple weeks. What I'm also not looking forward to is WWE trying to replicate the Royal Rumble crowd counting down and going, "Ah." oh, and and you're going to find out who they want pushed in that (laughs) based on the level of canned reaction that they give somebody. Such a weird rumble. All right, let's start. Oh, where was I? Oh, Ollie, you're gonna kick us off. You've got the you've got the easy one. Uh, then SRS, then Andy, and then of course Cheeky oh, yeah. Wee Tempest. Uh, let me just I forgot we were writing. I think so, I, I think I know all these. I think all of them. So Intercontinental <laughs> Champion. When they, I I don't know. Is is the simple. I, I mean, now, you want it right now, the current champion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The current, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse chronological. It's, on, it's, it's on the screen. I mean, I had Pat Patterson, I, but I, th- I thought you said something. Bollocks. Okay. okay. Right. So okay. I will say the there are a hundred. mental champion is. Oh, crap. Now we're <laughs> it's like we're playing who's my two weeks off. Like, Ollie. He missed it. He doesn't watch SmackDown. Oh, shit. It's Big E. It's Big E. It is Big E. <laughs> oh, my goodness, though. Uh, yeah, so there are 178 reigns that you could have. Uh, Just let's cross out Pat Patterson. <laughs> oh, no, you'll get to him in 177 uh, turns. Spoiler. Right. Uh, Sean. That was Sami Zayn. Yes, it was. Uh, Andy. Jeffrey Hardman. Jeffrey Hardy. Yes, Jeffrey Nero Hardman. Correct. Uh, Tempest. Uh, that would be AJ Styles. Normal AJ Styles. Uh, back to you, uh, Ollie. Uh, before AJ Styles, it was Sami Zayn again, wasn't it? It was. Um, Sean. It was Braun. Correct. Andy. Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> what is that? That's his thingy that he does. Right, hang on. I'm putting you. I'm putting you in order, just so I. Don't, there we go. <laughs> okay, so yes, that is correct. Tempest. Uh, Finn Balor. Correct. Ollie. Oh, God. I think this is about the time we lost everyone else the last time we did this. <laughs> oh, God. Finn Balor. I think so Luke that... went quite far with someone else. Maybe. Oh, my God. Screw it, Pat Patterson. <laughs> Unbelievably, you're wrong. Uh, bye, Ollie. See you in an hour. Okay. Uh, Sean. Uh, Bobby Lashley. Yes, indeed. Uh, Andy. Uh, Finn Balor. <laughs> yes, Finn Balor again. Tell me first. Uh, Bobby Lashley. Correct. Sean. Wasn't it Mox? It was the Mox. Dean Ambrose. Of course it was. Uh, uh, Seth. Yes. And this is where I stop. But I carry understand. on. It, it gets easy and hard through here. Like it's mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. just tough to remember how many times in what order. Mm-hmm. Tempe. Oh, is it me? Sorry. Uh, bu- 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 after Rollins was uh, Mr. Ziggles. Dolph right. Ziggler. Correct. Sean. And didn't he win it from Rollins? It. Uh-huh. Oh, didn't he? Was it? Was it the same again? Well, does it then Ziggler again? Is that your official well, guess? Yeah, I'm gone. He is gone. Uh, Tempest. Uh, that would be the Miz. Yes, absolutely. Sean. Reigns was before that. Yes, Tempest. I'm gonna have to start writing them down to try and keep up, like real quick. Uh, after uh, <laughs> Roman doing. was uh, the Miz again. Very good, lads. Yes, it was. Uh, Sean. Moxley again. Yes, very good. Uh, the Miz. Very good. Sean. 
Ziggler. Yes, it was. Very a good. Lot of, a lot of this in that air. <laughs> the Miz. Yeah, the Miz, if in doubt. Sure. Uh, one of my favorite title wins ever, Ryder at WrestleMania. Indeed. Uh, I have a, I have like a general rule of thumb that if you don't know who the Intercontinental Champion was from like 2012 to like 2016, it was probably the Miz. So yes. like it could be the Miz, Dolph, Kofi, or Wade. Miz, That's Miz it. or Ziggler are like the 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 go tos. Like eh, maybe the the yeah. good thing is generally when we leave off one of these, it's already gonna be one of them. So you just guess the other one. Mm -hmm. uh, Tempest, I am gonna so, ask you again. Yes, uh, before Who's Zach Ryder right? was uh, Kevin Owens. Yes, uh, Sean Moxley. Yes, okay. um, Tempest. Uh, Kevin cool Owens. Name. Yes, Sean. Uh, Ryback. He won it by beating up Andy Datsun. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. Tempest. Won it in the worst elimination chamber match of all time. Uh, before that was the very short reign of Daniel Bryan. Yeah, that's right. I was, I was there when he vacated it. Uh, uh, people were crying in the crowd. That was supposed to be so cool because you were going to have uh, Daniel Bryan and John Cena as the mid card champions, like at the same time as Cena was doing the the you know open challenge thing. Oh, it would have yeah. been so great. You got one really good match out of Dolph on Raw. And then that was it. Uh, right, um, Sean. Wade Barrett. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Dolph Ziggler. Yep. Yeah. Are we are we going through all 150 left? Are we, lads? All right. I'm gonna sure. I'm gonna hit a wall. I, I think that you should intentionally lose after this in honor of the great Luke Harper. Correct. Rest in peace. Thanks for the tattoo. Uh, before that, Dolph Ziggler. Yep. Sean. Uh, well, it's going to be the Miz then. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's one of these goddamn feuds because it's Dolph Ziggler. Yep. Uh, Sean. It's one of these goddamn feuds because it's the Miz. Yep. Uh, Tempest. Do it again. <laughs> uh, no. It's uh, back. It's, no, it's uh, Bad News Barrett. Oh, yes, it is. You love to see it. This is what people paid their money for. Uh, Sean. Uh, Big E, didn't he? Back, he, back he to, yeah, I thought so. Big e. mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm I'm smooth sailing from here on out. Yeah, I like this this era. This era is cool with me because this is uh, Curtis Axel. Yes. Oh, well, man. it wasn't cool with me, but I'm going to get the answers right. Um, Barrett had it before him. Yep. Uh, oh. Uh, one of the shortest reigns of his career. It's the Miz winning it at WrestleMania 29 pre-show. Yeah. From Barrett. <laughs> yeah. Tempest. We were saying them too quick. I've run out of things on my pad, so I'm just going off of the top of the dome uh, on this one. Um, pretty sure this one is the Wildcat. Get your head in the game. Kofi Kingston. Yeah. Right. Good. <laughs> So that's the, the worst had, nickname. Oh my god. That's the one I had trouble with. So it would be the Miz before him, too. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then it was uh Christian. Yeah. Raw 1000. Very good. Cody Rhodes, uh bring him back the title. Bring him back the, the OG. Uh-huh. Mm. Kinda, sort of. Yeah, well, sort of. it led to them doing that. Um Big show. Yeah. Sean. Cody with his mustache, probably. Yep. Don't believe that was the same time, but I'll give it Whatever. to you. Whatever. Uh, you know what? <laughs> uh, one, of the, one of the ones that's the most forgettable, Ezekiel Jackson. Yeah, it sure is. <sighs> Doing this. Okay, yep. Sean. So I've, I've got... Two names here with a question mark next to it. I think it's Wade Barrett. It is Wade Barrett. Ah, hell yeah. Tempest? Kofi. <laughs> well, sure. That, that was my other one, so it would be Ziggler. Yeah. Tempest? Kofi. Yep. Sean. D uh, that was Drew McIntyre. There we go. Are you? I know that one. Damn it. Oh, I thought that one might trip you up. Nope. Um, that case... It is John Morrison. Yeah. This is like my peak wrestling fandom right here. So yeah, I should be okay for a while. 
Well, then let's go. Ray. Yeah, quick fire me, boys. I'm ready. Chris Jericho. Yes. Ray. Yes. Chris Jericho. <gasps> oh, fuck. No, no it's not. You're ah. wrong. You're wrong. Tell me who it is and you get those 10 points. How about Justin Hawk Bradshaw? It is indeed John Bradshaw Layfield. Oh, my. That's right. God. Nah, I want a loser. I had, I had the list down to RVD, and then after that, I was like, I think I can memorize them. I'm trying to do them off my head. Trip me. Damn. Damn, oh, man. God. Yep. Oof. I've quick, do my pose. Be happy to be in the same shot with me real quick. Okay. So, after that first one. <laughs> so I just, I love that. Sorry. I'm tired of him disrespecting all these legends. What an idiot, Tempest. I know. As soon uh, as it was like, all right, do them fast. I was like, uh. Yes. Okay. I wrote uh, it down. Right. So. <laughs> uh, I've got a feeling that, okay, this is going to be a lot quicker. There you go. IWGP <laughs> Intercontinental Champions. Reverse yes, it will be. Order. Let's, let's do it, Sean. <laughs> are you suggesting ollie and i don't know them no no uh, absolutely not i think you could probably tell me who's currently but anyway i'm gonna let you write your little lists it is a shorter one it is uh, much thank shorter you. thank thank the good thank the good lord uh right uh not pleban says no jokes today respect and love each other and preach peace pray for america hashtag r.i.p brody hashtag jtj uh sats vault says fucking hell bit of a dick move for alt writers to attempt a coup in the u.s during quizlemania but here we are god damn it 2020 will you ever stop oh no shit uh reese johnson says best time of the year is here hope srs fucks that fuck right up come on oh, sure, please Come on, Oliver. Finally, win one. I've got money riding on you. What a brilliant cause this is. Everyone should support each Why other. Why would you do that? Add strategy, <laughs> Cotton. As Bjorn Follinson says, I've never been more sad about a wrestler's death. It's so evident. He meant so much to the people around him, and it breaks your heart to see their loss. Thanks for aiding another great cause. Okay, that's 25 pounds. Thank you very much. God damn it. So, I just remembered a part of my bit that I forgot as I was making this ooh. list. I forgot to say that I just challenged Horseshoe Tanahashi at Quizzle King. <laughs> oh. Son of a bitch. Uh, Soph says, lovely thing you guys are doing tonight, Mayor. Please get a shout out for my boys in the Rich Swan fan club. We'll be doing our own Quizzle Mania on Sunday over Zoom. Very much looking forward to it. Oh, shout out to you. Uh, Nosidia says, uh, much love to you. Uh, looking forward to better days. William Rigby has just given us 30 quid, but we really appreciate that. E.T. Um, says, hey guys, I have an idea for a new round. I've played with friends every Friday since the first lockdown. Remember Davina McCall's million pound drop? It's basically that. Uh, Mike Jensen says, as a cancer survivor that was given a 5% chance to live six months and that was 13 years ago. I know personally what this type of research can do. Thank you for doing this. Wow. Mike has given us 100 pounds. Thank you so much, Mike. That's you guys incredible. are the best. That's awesome. Yeah. We have the best fans in the world official uh melancholy brumley says hey guys tempest i love you to death but that title's coming home fuck that fuck r.i.p mr brody lee uh ugm uh, has given us 20 quid the other tempest says fuck mm. cancer uh, and has given us 20 pounds uh travis says for minus one and has given us 10 pounds thank you very much mike jensen says i'd also like to give a proper shout out to tempest and sanal uh for the n for the New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, live stream. They were awesome to answer my questions. Had great insight for someone who never watched New Japan Pro Wrestling before. Brilliant. Uh, thank, thank you, you for watching. Stream. That made it sound like they were saying, Tempest had great insight for someone who had never watched New Japan. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is new to it. And let's see how new he really is. So the current scores as they stand, in last place with 12, it's Ollie. In third place with 24, it's Andy. In second place with 26, it's Sean. Uh, in first place with 37, it's Tempest. Not out of the realms of possibility, but certainly looking less likely. Let's see how it goes, though. We're going to start with Ollie. Kota Ibushi. He's fucking done it, lads. <laughs> very, very nice. Well Chad Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> Chad Gable. Uh, no, really well done, Ollie. Really, Thank really you, well man. done. Thank you, man. No, you're welcome, mate. That's... I read the news yesterday. Oh, boy. Uh, so, uh, Andy. Who's next? I also read the news yesterday. Um, so thankfully, on my short list, I have Tetsuya Naito. Yes. Uh, Sean. The greatest intercontinental champion of all time, evil. <laughs> well, correct is a strong term. Uh, <laughs> Tempest. Tetsuya Naito. Yes. 
uh, Ollie. Yes, yeah, so this is where I start to lose it. Jay White? Correct. Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, I, I think he won it from Naito. He did, yeah. Andy. Look at you both. I'm so proud of you. Um, Sean. Ebushi. Yep. Tetsu uh, Naito. Yep. Ollie. <clears throat> Who was Naito feuding with? Wait. I believe in you, Ollie. Jericho, did he win yes, it? Yes, very oh, good. Oh, yeah. Davis, right. Davis. We Go have reached the end of my list, but uh, well, this one it will be the end of my list. It's Naito again. It is. And that's it. Sean. Minoru Suzuki. Yes. Mm. Uh, Tempest. Horseshoe Tanahashi. I had him listed as Horseshoe on here. Incorrect. It was Hiroshi Tanahashi. <laughs> but I'll let you have it. Wouldn't it be fun if I just kicked you out? Um, Ollie. I'm going to play the odds here. Naito. He's done it, lad. He's done it. He's, so done proud it. Of you. he's, oh. he's thrown the dart and it's only landed in the right place. Uh, Andy. I don't know. Um, here's my list. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a yeah. hint. Holla, holla, holla. <laughs> well, it was... No. Um, so you said Naito and... Oh, God. I don't know. Tanahashi again. No. It's Elgin. It is Elgin. Uh, one of the trickier ones on the list. Uh, he won it from uh, Kenneth Omega. Kenny Omega. Yes. Ollie. God, so who would have Omega been feuding with as Intercontinental Aye. Champion? Is it someone obscure? <laughs> Uh, Omega was a heel goto. Okay, solid he guess. Didn't he didn't. Oh, is it you? Uh, you want to yeah, me? Uh, he didn't feud with anybody. Nakamura vacated it when he signed with WWE. Correct, he did. Uh, and then, then it was goto. Yes, uh, Nakamura before that, it was it was his era. Yep. Your name's going to come up a lot. Uh, then it was Bad Luck Fale. Yes. And uh, then it was Nakamura. Yes. Then it was Hiroshi Tanahashi. Yes. And then it was Shinsuke Nakamura. Good. <laughs> uh, then it was uh, Andrade Cien Almas La Sombra. Good. And then it was Shinsuke Nakamura. Excellent stuff. You love to see it. And then it was Hiroki Goto. It was not. Yes, it was. Of course it was. <laughs> uh, and there, Sean. And this was a weird era. That's when it was Masato Tanaka. Very good. Closes off Tempest. The weirdest one on this list. The inaugural yeah, Intercontinental Champion, MVP. Correct. Ten points both. Very, very good. I don't know what I expected, but hell. I would think it would be about that. Honestly, yeah, pretty yeah. much. All right, welcome back. All right, these two did much better than I expected. Yeah, they did. It, well, <laughs> he just left. Patronizing shit bags. Uh, right here we go. Let's just uh, cap. Did they get them all? Points. So Ollie got yeah. two big boy points. Andy got zero big boy points, and the other two got ten big boy points. So uh, current scores as they stand: fourteen to Ollie. Nice. Um, 24 to Andy, uh, 36 to Sean Rothstadt, 47 to Tempest. He's won. Uh, I believe right. we have a retention. Congratulations. But just for fun, while we're here, Seth Rollins' championship reigns in WWE. <laughs> That's chronological order. What? How? Seth All right. How? Reigns. You tell um, me what he, what title he held oh all oh, right okay oh. yeah entire, would be... his entire time in wwe huh. starting with his most recent title that he's held and okay. then the title before that Ob obviously it could be the same title back to back i think, I might, do okay. Okay. I, think yeah. I might do okay at this one yeah. i think i might get this one it's not a long round let's 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 give it a go bloody good team uh bloody good eggs We'll be done before 11. Just enough time to finish out reading the rest of these wonderful donations before 2022. Uh, again, though, thank you so much to everyone who's donated. You guys are the best. The best. 
The best. Around. Nothing's going to ever keep you down. Tom Barker gave us 10 uh, quid. Thank you so much. RM Punk said, glad to support another charity stream for a great cause. RIP Brody, jam that jam and fuck that fuck. That was tw uh, 2020. Uh, Reese Griffith says, backing the Dong Law to reclaim his title. Hashtag FTF. Thanks for the fun times. Which NXT UK oh. wrestler would you like to see main event on the main roster? Walter, please. Oh, <laughs> Uh, Kazabi says, Mumbles, I'm coming for that title, bitch. Uh, shite that shite. Fuck the Mumbles world order. Benjamin Mateo says, First time watching Quizlemania live. Here to support a few fellow Canadians. Let's go, Tempest. But seriously, RIP John Huber. Uh, will Ware has given us 50 quid, saying, I'm disappointed at what my country is currently doing at the moment, but I'm looking forward to the next three hours of fun, quizzing, and genuinely forgetting about the world. Hashtag jam that jam and best of luck. CM Chris says, It's Wednesday. You know what that means. Uh, hashtag R.I.P. Brody Lee. Hashtag Love You Adam. Hashtag SP3 for Quiz or Mania. Mm, Heck yeah, mm -hmm. we should get SP3 That's on here. Shout, yeah, I'd uh, love to see like a whole Wrestling Daily episode with Stephanie Chase, Alex McCarthy, Louis, yeah. and SP3. It would be fun. Yeah. It would be fun. Uh, Colton be Holman cool. says, "You guys truly make a difference in your viewers' lives. Over the past nine months or so, you guys have done charity events to help bring us together for great causes. You guys are all champions. Thank you so much." Kate Pippin and Miss Bunny Penny says, "Thank you for uh, raising money. Such a great cause. I wasn't able to get my husband a PS5 for his birthday. So can you wish? So can you guys wish my personal champion, Chris, a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Chris! Happy, happy birthday, Chris! Birthday, happy birthday, birthday, Chris! Chris. Sorry, sorry, she sent me your PS5." Yeah, uh, yeah, I've got one too. Anonymous says thanks for everything you do and happy birthday to Quizlemania legend Adam Pearson. Get him yes. back on the show soon. Is it Adam's birthday today? It is. Is it? Yep. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Adam Pearson. Birthday, Adam Pearson. Adam Pearson. Birthday, Adam. Great guy. Absolutely Great guy. wonderful. Uh, and Jobber JJ says hello everyone. Uh, Quizlemania is back and better than ever. Thank you for the great laughs and smiles. Question: If you saw New Year Dash, what are your thoughts? New Year's Dash. Sorry. Uh, Captain suggestion for Tempest: Stiff as a horse. Yeah. All right, Jobber JJ. Uh, I haven't seen New Year's Dash honestly. Been wrapped up in in work today. Um, sounds like it was it was a fun show though. I don't think I there was anything like monumental on the show though. That's Someone like, from New Japan messaged me and said, "Get your rest this morning. You won't <laughs> miss your dash." <laughs> so I, I passed. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. If people were expecting a Kenny Omega video, it, it didn't yeah. happen. I think I think people got conditioned, like especially when there was like the Kenny Omega turn and all that stuff. They're like, "Oh my gosh, crazy stuff will happen every year," and it just doesn't anymore. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Uh, let's start, shall we? Uh, Can I have a, one quick clarification on here? Yeah. Are you counting them from like date lost or date one? Because some of these kind of overlap. Uh, date lost. Okay. Hmm. That'll be tough for me. Okay. Oh. Uh, at least that's what I'm looking at here. Yeah, all of these are in going back order of having the end of the belts. It goes in the right chronological order as far as I can see. Uh, so yes, let's let's do it to it. Grammar, that is. Um, let's start with you, Andy. No, what? Let's start with you. Oh, you you're sitting in the wrong place. I wasn't going to say anything. Oh, let's start with you, Ollie. Raw Tag Team Championships. Yes, he's done it. Lat no, I'm <laughs> very well done. Uh, and no, actually, I actually like it. I don't find it condescending. <laughs> <laughs> Any praise? Please, please praise me. Anything that even close, even anything that even resembles praise, you are a YouTuber after all. Uh, Andy, the Universal Championship. Yes, Sean. Uh, I, th I think it's the raw tags that he held with. Uh, it doesn't matter who it was. So I'm not even going to put that out there. You're, you're, you're right. right. You're right. Okay, good. Uh, in that case, it would be the Universal title again. Very good. Uh, Ollie. Raw tag. And he's out of here. Ah. Uh, I see. Intercontinental. Yes, correct. This is one of the ones I was worried about. Uh, Sean. So I, I think that would be the raw tag after that. Yes. God, he's held those a lot. Tempest. He has just done a, a lot of double championship runs. Yeah. I didn't realize until now. Uh, the IC title. Correct. Andy. Uh, raw tag again. Yes. 
Sure. That would have that would have been with Jason Jordan, and I I hate the yeah, fact I think it was. that dead. I totally forgot about that. I miss Jason Jordan. He was working everybody. Um, I, I think that before that, it was the tags, the raw tags with Ambrose. Correct. Unless it carried. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. I miss. <laughs> uh. Yeah, bu- 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 then I'd say it was the WWE title. Yep. Uh, and I think it was it, again the yes. World Heavyweight. Yeah. Yes, indeed, Andy. Well, that, mm-hmm. that does the job for me then, because then what? it would be. Oh yeah, fuck! I'm okay. guessing the wrong reigns, but the right titles. Yeah, go on. Sorry. Okay, then then it would be the US, because that's the one I wasn't sure it, what order it was. Correct. Okay. Um. In that. I didn't bother writing anything down for this one. Um, I think it's the first time I've ever known all of them. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote them down, though. Yeah. It's probably a bad strategy. Uh, But in that case, I'm going to say, like, the WWE Tag Team Championship. Correct. Uh, NXT Championship. Correct. Sean? So we're, we're going past this right because i know these i watched this shit on tv i mean I like, I can, it, I it's, one more. it's still the same company right okay all I'm right not, I, I just wasn't sure if we would right. go back this far because i can't believe that anybody else but me watched this uh he held the fcw title correct he did tempest okay maybe i don't know all of these <laughs> yeah um I know this happened. I don't know when it happened. I don't know if it's considered a title. Is it the Jack Briscoe title medal thing? Uh, I mean, I'm not particularly familiar with this either. Uh, so do you have a name for me? Well, sure, uh, we'll not, right. nothing, nothing beyond that. I mean, I know he and, yes. Uh, yes, sorry, he and I, Ambrose feuded over it in, F- in FCW. A cursory it, it Google. Is this. It, is cursory this. Google. it is what he's saying. Yeah, it's the it's the 15 championship is what they called it. FC, technically, the name is... F, the reason. What, especially the reason why I'm giving it to you is according to its Wikipedia page, it was called the FCW Jack Briscoe 15 championship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Goodness me. Uh, and and, and, no, Andy, there's one no, more. No, that's it, I think. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, FCW tag. <laughs> Yes. Really? Well, okay. <laughs> Let, I mean, let's dip back into it his, sense. <laughs> let's dip back into his ROH days. Now I don't remember any of the other companies, but oh, we're done. Oh, WWE oh. is where we is where we close up shop for I the day. To lose by one point. We have we've got super chats to read, my fine feathered friend. Uh, right, so that is all she wrote for Quizomania this week. Um, in last place with fourteen, it's Ollie. <laughs> In a very respectable third place with 34, it's Andy. All I wanted was third. it. In second place with 46, SRS. In first place with 57, Tempest. A worthy fight. You love to see it. It's this is the, my uh, Quizzle Kingdom. This is I, mean, I, I ran Quizzle a great Kingdom. O'Con gimmick. I wasn't winning. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't winning. Yeah, you jinxed yourself with that one. Uh. Right, uh, it's it's gosh, it's it's so weird to be done before eleven, but refreshing too. Uh, I'm going to hop into some super chats because we are uh, just about a quarter of the way through them. Ollie, you have you have news to do. I've got Betty buys. It's bedtime. Sleep well. Bye, uh, bye, thank bye. you genuinely, everybody who's watched this so much for for raising the money and, and for Tempest for putting himself up for it. Good sport, babyface champion. Uh, just hand over your Twitch account to me, and we're all sorted. Uh, okay. Yeah, that Twitch account I definitely have. Yeah, cool. Love you, everybody. Jam that jam. Jam that jam. Glad you don't have COVID. <laughs> all right. Uh, so Graham Sharp says, really want to thank you guys for rest, uh, entertaining with us with Quizlemania. My, me and my wife caught coronavirus this week, and I was really happy there was a Quizlemania on to cheer me up. Yes, well, we are very happy to cheer you up. Uh, Sean uh, evidently has uh, no such sympathy uh, and has walked away during your heartfelt plea. 
Uh, but that's because he's a man of the people, of course. Yeah, Jaded Ben says, greeting from Austin, Texas. So happy to be watching Quizzle Mania live and to be supporting such a great cause. This episode is for Brody Lee. May he uh, forever rest in peace. Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag RIP Brody Lee. Uh, Vlad says, greetings from Romania. Uh, thank you for the distraction because it feels like 2020 still hasn't ended. As always, Team SRS forever. Chels has just given us 50 quid. Thank you so much. Uh, Nib and Craig says, first time donating, doing it to honor the exalted one, Mr. Brody Lee. Just finished your book, Adam. Absolutely loved it. And thank you guys for making us laugh in a shit's time. Hashtag FTF. Hashtag join the JTJ order. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, which sto which stories did, did you like? I genuinely, so it's so nice to have someone have actually read it. That is a wonderful thing. And don't get me wrong, I'm very happy that people have bought it. The fact people have read it, that's what really, really, really uh, tickles me. Thank you so much. Uh, Anonymous says, RIP Brody Lee, a great cause. Hope you reach and exceed the target. Mr. Davis, could a Wrestle Talk album be released featuring all the Wrestle League songs? Me and My Shadow, Adam's Big Dog Ballad. And he hasn't mentioned it, but I assume he also is in holla, holla, holla. We have an honest to God fightful mixtape dropping at the end of the month. <laughs> I, I I believe it. We we do. I'm not joking about that. We do. What are you singing? Uh, I have sang Ass Man. I have sang <laughs> You're a Mean One, Miss Denise. It was the the Grinch song. Um sl slam jams on there, right? I can't remember what else is on there, but we got a lot of shit on there. I, I will say, having now checked Twitter since finishing, Luke Owen is very disappointed in me for not getting Raven immediately. Yeah, I would say. I'm sorry, Luke. It's 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 not it's not what I know. Ooh, I can now wish Adam Pearson a happy birthday. Oh, I want to wish Adam Pearson a happy birthday, uh, but I'm busy. Anonymous says, uh, hashtag, oh, so James Colgan has given us 30 pounds. Thank you so much. Anonymous says, uh, Team Tempest, uh, will it be actual Hogan's jam that jam tattoo or will it be, you know, good? That's a good question. I'm not getting I am that I am on my forearm. Tempest. That's not happening. Tempest. Uh, actually, to be honest, uh, w one thing I forgot to do at the end of the stream is see what our current score score it's not what it's called the current level of donations achieved moly moly six thousand two hundred and ninety you're the best Holy around smart. nothing's ever gonna keep you down uh that's amazingly generous again thank you thank brilliant you some human kindness uh louise marie says i just want to say i appreciate all you lot uh what you've done for this community you guys have been a light in so many people's lives during the darkness that was last year support each other support each other uh jake waterworth says good morning from australia can't watch live but wants to show support to such a great cause thank you for your work uh quizzlemania hi to my friend shelly and go srs hashtag jam that jam and fuck that fuck 20 didn't work out for you bud sorry 22 nay it was like yeah i it, like if I'd done a different round than pay-per-view, who can say? So I feel like we like this it does feel like a Carter Omega kind of just just getting started here. You know He's, what? You know what? what we, Angel friend. Yeah. He he was a worthy adversary. I'm not good at the paper feud though. I'm not good at that one. Don't like I mean, hey, it took Omega a long time to beat Okada. So yeah. you know. <laughs> He's he's just just staying on the side of babyface. Yeah, he? it's just just inching on the other side. Right, uh, twenty-two named Deegan says Tempest, Tempest. He's our champ. If he can't win this, I know Sean probably will. He's an entertaining boy. <laughs> Much loved Tempest being uh, getting attacked to raise money for a wonderful cause. Holla holla! And since that was officially part of paid donation. Holla, holla, holla. Jay Patel has given us 20 quid. Thank you so much. Uh, Andras says, thank you guys very much for this charity scream. Uh, let's make sure the memory and legacy of John never fades. RIP, John. Naturally, a big thank you uh, to the Mayo Clinic for their hard work as well. And has donated 50 pounds. Amazing. Harry Murgatroy says, can't watch to live as I'm playing six nymphs with my family. Following your great recommendation from Phenomena. Also, Adam, let's see Holly on Quizzlemania. <laughs> Hashtag Holly for Quizzlemania. She'd rather die. But thank you very much. I'm sure she'll be flattered that she got a hash. Tag. Uh, six Nymphs is a wonderful game. Uh, Vandalia 1998 says, Here is a donation for the charity. Uh, Adam, you haven't won gold in a few years. When are you going after Mr. Davis's championship title? I think my uh, 
my championship ambitions uh, have have left me behind i'm afraid uh, datson's illegitimate child oh it's so nice to hear from him uh, says uh, rewatched michael's versus taker wrestlemania 25 recently and there's a lot less in that match than you think but everything informs the match narrative it's almost as if less is more sometimes ryan says wrestle kingdom was an escape from the shitness that was 2020 and things that happened in my life and now so is quizzlemania adam you're my favorite as always and okan wasn't that bad, Sean? What? He's the worst wrestler yes. on the planet. Oh, that was, he was so bad. Uh, Louis Dangor. Oh, lovely Louis has donated. A little bit of money for an organization that's helped out a man that had a great impact on me in the limited interactions we had. Thank you, Louis. Uh, Louis yeah. donated £20. What a lovely, what a lovely nugget. Uh, Chris I and feel, Jenny. I feel bad for taking a shot at Louis during the show. Then. I don't know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. considering you, you may have dunked on him at the point where he was like just after he donated because we are receiving a delay, of course, in reading out these donations. So yeah, you're yeah, yeah the people's yeah, champion, it's folks. It's all in good fun. We love Louis. Uh Chris <laughs> and Jenny Frizzle, uh or Frizzell, Frizzle. I'm gonna go with Frizzle. It's more fun. This Frizzle. Hashtag uh, R.I.P. Brody Lee. Absolutely. Flim Flam Mandrew says it's my favorite day of the every other week. I am drinking while watching my country burn. But oh well, the Brody Lee tribute show was perfect. Big beefy boys crying is my weakness. God bless John Silver. God bless John Silver. Uh, Rob Greaves says, having a, having a consistently consistent, lovely time with the boys. Looking forward to seeing Tempest's tat. Uh, jam that jam. R.I.P. John Huber. Ben Wallace says, surely if Tempest gets a tattoo, it has to be the same one in the same place as Hogan. Tempest, quick uh -huh. thoughts on Wrestle Kingdom and Jay White's promo. A hashtag R.I.P. Brody. Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag the great O'Shawn. Uh, Wrestle Kingdom, I, I've said this on Twitter, I don't foresee any show during the pandemic being better than these two nights of Wrestle Kingdom. Just an incredible show. Like so many, I thought Osprey and Okada was going to be the best match of the year. And 24 hours later, Ibushi and Jay White put on one of the best matches I've ever seen. Um, Dave uh, Meltzer put on Twitter today that uh, like the 24 hours of Jay White having that match cutting the promo and wrestling news dash was like, he's the most perfect wrestler on the earth currently for like a 24 hour period. And it's high praise, but that match was incredible. The promo was incredible. What a, what a pro wrestler. Uh, what a, what, what praise indeed. Uh, I, I should probably get around to watching wrestle kingdom at some point. You I, won't regret it. No, I, I don't think I would. Um, uh, Phil Higgins says, "R.I.P. John Huber, J.T.J. Tempest. Love to Adam. Hope you're okay, buddy. Ah, uh, yeah, I've I've calmed down. Thank you very much for your concern, though." Uh, Arthur from Natural Nine says, "For Brody Lee, John Huber, Luke Harper, and for the Mayo Clinic, any bit helps uh, those who need a hand." That being said, fuck that fuck. The Dong Lord cometh. Sorry, Tempest, but SRS is back. Do it, Sean. Um, I gave it my best, but you know what? Sometimes they bring in the legend to put over the new guy. Personally, I think it would have been better if it was like Roxena where I win the first one and you buy me like another year. Uh, I do want to point out that we have had clarification that Louis donated, uh, before you dunked on him. So you dunked on him after he donated. So you got his money out of him and then he buried the lad. So did he was... donate through the wrestle Two channel? Cause that would have been very <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> Keith Corrigan says, fantastic stuff, lads. Happy to today, especially in the times we live in. Cannot wait to see the tattoo, Tempest, nor can we all. Uh, Kieran Robson says, first time donator. Watching last week's uh, Dynamite had me very emotional. Sounds like Brody was an amazing person. Hashtag jam that jam. Timothy Jimothy James says, for John Huber, for his family, for the cause of getting Tempest a silly tattoo. Hashtag jam that jam. Small P Pete says, what storyline do you think Brody Lee would have returned to if he had lived? I was hoping for Brody versus Hangman for leadership of the dark order that would have been uh just incredible absolutely mm. um adam cohen says rest in peace brody i hope you find a way to dark order up your tattoo tempest giving us 80 pounds thank you so much i uh, hope you're doing well adam hashtag support each other hashtag jam, jam. i am thank you for the support i appreciate that um grt a uh, great chaos rising doing what's right let's be supportive 75 pounds thank you so much nj hornsberg says fuck me buddy this is a great cause if tempest gets a jtj inc i'll get one in solidarity <laughs> hashtag <laughs> r.i.p right. truck on big rig let's, let's do it uh like tempest like obviously look i'm not gonna put you on the spot you're already sacrificing so much 
for uh, for us. Like, realistically, what would it take? What would it take, realistically? I particular. I'm not a big fan of like word tattoos, like scripture and all of that. Well, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to start well, liking it, mate. Well. I don't. I'm not going to get the words jam that jam on me. I'm. I'm thinking like a a, a, a thing of jam that says jam that jam on the it. Logo. Oh, well, the, the, the words are on there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's not just going to be a jar of jam, you know. But I don't think I'm going to get I am that I am in nice cursive writing on my forearm. But I feel like if I ever beat you, you should get the FTF logo tattooed on you as well. Tempest, jam that jam has uh, ten letters in it. Oh god. Oh, yes. <laughs> Across the knuckles, man. Do it. Oh, Do wow. it. Because they'll see, like people will see it from a distance. They'll be like, that's cool. He's a hard guy. <laughs> and then they'll get closer. Cool. They'll be like, what a what? cool guy. <laughs> huh? And, and you'll if they just say one hand, it'll just say jamf. That seems like jam. <laughs> jam. And then jam that jam. <laughs> jam that jam. At Jim. <laughs> uh granddad what are the what do those mean well let me let me tell you a tale the world is on fire you see um mayor dan has mayor dan lovely mayor dan hello quiz on uh, mania masters i want to take this opportunity to tell you guys including srs you are doing an awesome job i am proud of you please Such keep on too. rocking he's been straight baby face this entire show has srs me have oh. i well, I had to be me for two hours. It was very hard. <laughs> uh, As we're showing in America right now, being ourselves is not usually not usually a baby face thing. So, uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, Jamie Bunt says, "R.I.P. Mr. Brody." Ryan Sudol says, "Quizomania couldn't have come at a better time." Despite what's happening right now in DC, I know there are good people in this world. I know there are more sorry good people in this world than there are bad. One of those is Brody. R.I.P. Big Rig. Uh, Anonymous has just said, "Jam that jam." uh but thank you very much nero wolfgang says uh r.i.p brody tempest stealing our gimmick lol i've uh, been repping the jam that jam ink for a while now oh of course nero is one of the people with the matching tattoos but seriously great stuff dude just get a good artist and don't do a code you get bad ink done bad oh it's not how, on my neck it's how not much on my neck how much? just don't get it on your penis because that can leave you with a permanent erection i've heard oh no we can't have that when I, I need, was, I need Blue Chew from Fightful for that. Do it, code code Fightful. Do it. Um, but I remember when he debuted that tattoo. Like I think the first time I saw it was at the show, yep. and everybody in the media section were just like, "Is it fake or is it real? Mm -hmm. Like, did he um, just? Are they doing AEW temp tats? Like, is that what they're they're pushing now or what? I, I, thought I remember it, I that. Did, I generally thought it's a one show, and then he was gonna, and it was gonna come yeah. back. He, he signed his tattoo for a one shot deal. That's what we were hoping. Oh. So you got I, was, I think I was next to to Nick Hosman from uh, from Wrestling Inc. We were like, "That's not real, is it? That can't be real." What has he got on his neck? What show it's, was that? Which one was? It was that? Revolution. Oh, so he lost to MJF that night, right? Yes. I was like three seats away from MJF's dad, who had no idea he was going to win that match, and was shocked. Was shocked by it. It's pretty cool. Such for a man with such good taste in dogs, he's such <laughs> yes. poor taste in tats. Uh, Abby Kizwani says, All of you at Wrestle Talk and the extended Wrestle Talk family making the world a better place. Thank you for everything you do. It goes beyond wrestling. Love all of you guys. Hashtag support each other. Nathaniel S says, Thanks for being a much needed distraction and a kind bunch of lads. Uh, Shad has given us 100 pounds. Dear PFK, thank you for making last year better than it was. Quizlemania and Wrestle Talk have been a great boon to my mental health. So thank you. Rest in power, John Huber, JTJ. Man, I, I I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I messaged I messaged round before we we came out and did this, and I was just like, should we postpone the show? Because like obviously it's real weird to do. Uh, you, you we all felt that it was real weird to do, but like one of the biggest part of it was I was, I was just so worried. Like I was really gonna curb. Like you know people aren't gonna be able to. People are going to be reasonably glued to the news. And like we have maybe one chance to kind of do this charity drive for this great cause. Uh, man, how wrong I was. Uh, really, mm -hmm. really proud of you all. Just I'm, I'm totally blown away. 
proud of our fans. Uh, Vlad says, Brody Lee gave us probably the best moment in Dynamite last year. And then one of the best matches in Dynamite history. He elevated everyone that worked with him. This one is for you, Big Rig. No, people, people keep saying like, oh, who's your breakout star of 2021 or 2020? And I was like, I know it's crazy, but I think it was Brody Lee. I think, he, I think that after what he was relegated to in WWE, him coming out, having a big debut, a pay-per-view title match, completely fixing the Dark Order, completely fixed a, a stable that was in the shitter, had one of the most memorable title wins that I've seen in recent years, and then a big-time title match after that, plus all the funny stuff on BTE. It was like it was he was appointment viewing for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Um no, I'm thesis. Thank you for taking my eyes off the news. Can't thank you enough, especially today, for distracting me during these harsh times. Love you all. <clears throat> Peiko526 says, with so much of this world uh, being fleeting and fragile, I will pay someone any amount of money to make me feel something. Today, that's £30. But no, it's been worth so much more than I could afford. It's generally one of the most profound and lovely chats we've we've had. Thank you thank so you. much, Peiko. Um, the Flying V says, thanks uh, for doing this again, guys. Also, a lot of love to the people in the UK. Breaks my heart to see COVID-19 infections rise so high. Yep, it's almost a straight line uh in london please stay safe uh, shield and please stay safe shield and get the vaccines jam that jam quite right rick r says thanks for keeping us all somewhat sane during all the tough times we've had over the last 12 months and for raising money for a great cause r.i.p Brody lee jam that jam uh kev bot saying pretty sure you guys crashed just giving for a minute there thanks for all you do can't wait to see luke take the crown from whoever wins today Bring it on. Adam Southfield says negative one will lead us all into the future. Hashtag join the dark order. Uh, Alec Farmer says, did you hear about the warrior who always came in second place? The penultimate warrior. <laughs> That's good. My, I call my wife the ultimate warrior sometimes because she's constantly checking everything around the house. So I'll like do the music. <laughs> that's, such, that's such a fucking Seinfeld that's, line. That's what, the is, music. what is the deal with airline peanuts? Who are they trying to keep out of there? Uh, Nate S says, thanks for this stream, especially today. Such a great way to pay tribute. RIP Brody Lee. Tempest, let me know if you need help with the tattoo design. I'm almost as good as drawing as Pete. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> Tempest, how much to get Heidenreich tattooed on you? Oh, oh yeah. That drawing? Oh, it would be a lot. Oh, oh that drawing. I think. Okay, Pete's not here. He might not be watching as he goes to bed earlier. If we can convince him to get that tattoo, because he's tat he's a tattooed man. <laughs> he is a tattooed man. <laughs> so it's he, like he got one tattoo, so he'll probably get any tattoo. No, no, yes. Pete's got a few. Pete's got a bunch of tattoos. Mm -hmm. Has he? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, Andy. Uh, next next office meeting we have. Uh, you 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 suggest it and see how okay. far you get. Uh, Maka says, uh, "R.I.P. Brody." 30 pounds. Thank you so much. Anonymous says SRS for the win. Thanks, lads, for another quiz on Mania. Stay safe, everyone, and jam that jam. Duncan says, take my money. Well, little there is. The cause and the tattoo are worth it. And it's given us 20 pounds. Thank you, Duncan. Gradient Powell has just given us 20. Thank you so much. Lorenzo Mora says, hi, guys. Watching from Italy. I think I'm the biggest fan here. One question for all of you. What's your favorite Tamina moment? Hashtag fuck that fuck. Hashtag go SRS. I mean, hell. <laughs> The time know. when she repeated the I'm going to make you look like Ellsworth line right after somebody else said it 20 <laughs> seconds before. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you look like Ellsworth. Yeah. I'm going to make you look like <laughs> Genuinely, there was a, a nice... A, the only thing I remember from Tamina that didn't make me go, Ugh, was at Evolution, I think. It, uh, no, it wasn't at Evolution. Was it in the Women's Royal Rumble where they did like a, a, her and Nia did a, a Roman tribute? When oh. just, it was short, shortly after he'd uh, been diagnosed with leukemia, they did like the kind of ooh in the middle of the ring together. So actually, that probably is it. Uh, I mean, like her match against Bailey not being a colossal train wreck, you know, like, like genuinely, like I, it was fine. It was fine, and, and like everyone like piles on Tamina, and you know, she's she's not great. But like she I mean, had a perfectly workable match. In 2020, she was perfectly serviceable. Like she showed up, she did the qualifying matches, the top contender matches, whatever. My other favorite moment is 2017 when she did the thing after Survivor Series and she put like, there are moments in time that are so iconic that photos do not do them justice. And you see Hogan Andre, Rock Austin, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, and then Naya Tamina. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I was like, oh, man, okay. What a game. I mean, the other people don't deserve to be on that. Yeah. Ooh, I think SRS is going to enjoy this next um, this next message. Taylor Hughes says, Happy New Year's, guys. I spent New Year's Day shopping for figures at Toy Vomit in Lexington, Kentucky. I love Toy Vomit. Good when, dude there. When all of a sudden, SRS walks in the store. <laughs> awesome meeting, Sean. Cool way to start 2021. I've seen your pictures, man. And oh, I, I haven't been inside a really good toy shop in what feels like years so the funny thing is when i sent you that picture of the board game shop it was next door to toy vomit so i got to walk right out of toy vomit and right into this this store so you want to talk about like an awesome spot just side by side that was awesome also next door to that is a place called the healthy foot store okay (laughs) uh what do they sell I don't know. I just I wanted to go healthy in there and like feet. put ankle locks on everybody, and it'd be like, not so healthy now, are you? <laughs> uh, Sean English this is R.I.P. Brody Lee. Hi, Andy. Holla, holla, holla. Holla, holla, holla. Uh, Adrian Willi- Sorry, Andy. Sorry, I That's cut you off. Satisfaction. Yes. Uh, You're independent. Get your own thing right there. Holla, holla, holla. Aiden Williams says, RIP Brody Lee. It's always sad when the wrestler passes away, but this is a real gut punch when I realized he had actually passed away. Yeah, it, it took a long time for that information just to kind of take hold. Uh, Carol Wands uh, says, here is a little bit to help. Wish it could be more. Thank you for doing uh, Quizmania today. It's needed badly right now. Love you all. Hashtag Team Tempest, hashtag Team Andy, hashtag RIP Brody Lee. Holla, holla, holla. Holla, holla, holla. Yusuf Rashid says, hello from Toronto. Love everything you guys have hey. done. Hey, and happy to that's where I'm from, and happy to <laughs> donate in honor of a great man. <laughs> that's where we live. We live where in Toronto. My, where are all my Guildford viewers? <laughs> Yay, we live in Toronto. Yay, shut up. I wish uh, I Tem- did. Tempest should get his tattoo in blue as a Leafs Brody tribute. Not a bad. There's, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of uh things being woven together and for ideas for this tattoo. You know, it's like it's jam, jam that jam tattoo. It's a Brody Lee tattoo. Apparently, Hide Maple right. Leafs tattoo. Hide and right, yeah. I don't know. All of, right tattoo, of course. I will do my best to come up with a design that covers as many bases as possible. Maximilian Wright has given us one hundred pounds and says, "For a maybe better world that isn't fucking burning." Uh, JFH has also given us a hundred pounds. Gosh almighty, Thank, uh, it's humbling, guys. Uh, fantastic cause. Been fortunate enough to work with a few of the guys at the Mayo Clinic, and they really are superheroes. Looking forward to seeing the Tat Tempest PS Gold Star for Adam 21 PA, 2021 PA. Uh, Ad, Andrew uh, Purdy says, Quizzle Mania made, Quizzle Mania made 2020 better, and here it is starting 2021 off right. It's great to see SRS back. In the words of Brody Lee, you, Mr. Davies, are just a piece of shit, and you, you deserve nothing. That cameo's awesome um el coyote uh jason says uh i el coyote obviously i pray thee peace i will be uh, flesh and blood for there was never yet philosopher who could endure a toothache patiently in other words let's go srs fuck that fuck. darling is that a coyote oh no it's attacking <laughs> man of the people andy dat <laughs> yeah got it never mind never mind i won't let's not get personal let's not get personal <laughs> Big, big fan of you, Andy. Big fan. Uh, Vinny Slee says, just want to say how great the support from the entire community has been in the wake of John Huber's passing. Uh, so nice to see everyone sharing memories and love. Rest in peace, Brody. Uh, AJRW says, keep up the good work, lads. And thank you for all for keeping me laughing while I was struggling with my mental health last year. Happy to donate to a great cause. Hashtag RIP Brody Lee. Hashtag jam that jam. Harry Carter says, watching live for the first time with my girlfriend who also knows nothing about wrestling but likes the holla hollers. Fantastic work. <laughs> all you're doing i've got got a feeling got a couple of these in the comments holla, holla, holla. thing is right it's not funny now it stopped being funny a while back but it will be funny again we just yes. have to keep going that's, that's the rule of comedy that, you got to cool. change the bit a little bit i've been telling my own staff that like i can't i can't throw ftf out there all the time i can tell them to go to your merch store and buy my shirt that way i can invoice it but that, that's it that's it Buy that for the sake of nostalgia, please. Please do. Uh, we have so many left. No, I'm just kidding. They're print on demand. <laughs> um, 
Aaron Bartholomew says, so pleased you are raising money for this good cause whilst giving me something to smile about. And whilst at least 50 of you, uh, whilst at least 50% of you agree that Metalingus is the best entrance music of all time. R.I.P. Brody Lee. Irish Insights says, stuff is bad right now, so treat yourself and watch Adam and Adam's reaction to Money in the Bank 2017. Watch them drunkenly shout moose during Orton versus Jinder is art. Oh, gosh, that's a deep, that's a deep cut. Also, please try to get Dakota Kai on one day. Uh, okay okay <laughs> if, she, yeah. if she's down let's, we'll, let's make it happen we'll, we'll we'll get right on that we'll get right on it uh anonymous know said, person. say 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 what sorry i might know a person uh anonymous says how do you think wwe will do surprise rumble participants with the current climate and who do you think they would have enter i think maybe the legends thing was sort of a trial run for maybe one or two people um but i don't know if they would just reach out to someone just be like hey you who hasn't been anywhere near this building for ages come to this building for one night only mix it up with all of our guys yeah i think maybe the, maybe someone you saw on legends night but maybe i wondered I if they'd even advertise people for it at first because of covid because like who knows what'll happen when you get there that week but i wish they'd do victoria since she's retired and there was all that buzz last year when her titan tron was used for a test and people were like oh it's gonna be victoria and she was like i had no clue until my phone blew up and everybody's <laughs> like oh your titan tron's playing at minute Maid park the day before god imagine i hope uh, you get carlito I hope it's all a big swerve that we get Carlito in the Royal Rumble. Playing the long game with that surprise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Xander Palmer. Hello, Xander. Thanks for all the great content, lads. May it, uh, long may it continue. Great show, great cause. RIP, Mr. Brody Lee, you will be hugely missed. Question from the chat. How long will the donation page be open? Uh, a good few days after. So, like, we, we want to give, obviously, uh, people a chance to donate while, you know, the, you know, people who can't watch live get to see the show and if you are watching uh, after this is all said and done please do uh, donate the uh, this page should still be open uh stuart glenn Cross says love me some quizomania jam that jam and peen that peen peen that peen sure a, a, a quick flash in the pan trend that one and never it didn't quite didn't quite latch in for awesome weirdly has supply has like lasted longer than peen that peen was uh, it a, a flash in the peen Oh, Tempest, that's very good. Very good. That's very good, Tempest. In fact, you get, a, you get a different sound effect for that. You get... Very good, Tempest. Still very got good. that one queued up, do you? I do. Forever. I love Peter Gabriel. Uh, and also, uh, Gingy365 says, uh, no better time to ultra chat than now. Brody was gone too soon. Let's go, Tempest, two belts. Leave Ollie in the dust like the paper champ. He is 50 bucks. Thank you. Jack Beaumont is going to... Tanner? Duarte, oh, sorry, pronounced as Duarte, forgive me. Um, ink that, hashtag Ink That Ink from Portugal. P.S. Not familiar with New Japan Pro Wrestling, but basically the biggest names as of now are Akada, Naito, Tanahashi, and Ibushi, right? Excluding Gaijin. Yes, I looked up the term. I think they are probably the biggest Yeah, names. excluding Gaijin, that would that would be about yeah, it. Also, yeah, uh, it's two title Tempest, not Tempest two belts. Just have to clarify I don't want to get sued. Another another step got, towards heel. <laughs> You've got the shinning. You've got the, the shinning. Sh you mean shining. Shh. Want to get sued? Josh Shale says, thanks, Adam and the boys for another quiz of Mania. Fuck that fuck jam, that jam. Love you guys. Christian Zimmerman says, not much, but it's for charity. Greetings from Germany. Thank you, guys. Just want to say that Luffy will be the next pirate king. Go, Tempest. And don't forget that SRS once kissed Titus on the lips. Hashtag that that did not happen at all. Hashtag. Hashtag. I read that on the five plus one. Have you ever thought, by the way, of starting your own OnlyFans called Fight Falls Erect? Yeah, I have. I've got yeah. a pretty, pretty significantly sponsored dong, as it turns <laughs> out. So, like, that's a significant portion of Fightful's bottom line is basically my penis and ad reads that, that emerge from them. Stop it. Stop this. <laughs> well, I'll sign up no matter what you charge. Stop Just... it. Between, between Tempest getting a beautifully calligraphy jam that jam tattoo on his peen, between Andy's pimp strut, and between Sean Rossap's like corporate Jimmy John's dong. I, mean, I laid off the dong lord gimmick for a solid 15 episodes of this. 
<laughs> that, that, that was my fault. I was just, I, it was just solidarity. I went away and learned a new hold. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You've got the lightning fist now. It's yeah. all different. Um, Jared McCullough uh, says, "Thanks, guys, for what you do. Love you all." R.I.P. Brody Lee. Question: What cinematic style match would you most like to see, and who's in it? What does that mean? I don't like know. cinematic style I love- match. I still want Sting and Undertaker. Yeah. That's what I want. I still want Sting and Undertaker in like a a Charles Bronson versus Clint Eastwood at like type of old ass dudes that can still fight type of thing. Proper boneyard graveyard match. Yeah. Is what we want. Yeah. Uh, Anonymous says Quizomania is the best thing to come out of 2020. Keep jamming that jam, guys. We did it, guys. We beat the vaccine. Uh, Andrew Wilde says, hooray for Quizomania as I'm quarantining at home with Rona, just like WWE booking. New year and same old shit. Hashtag FTF. Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag Brody the hero. Zach Robinson says, not seen such an outpouring of love and admiration since Eddie Guerrero passed. John Huber really seemed like he was the best of us. Such a terrible shame. Hashtag RIP Brody Lee. Hashtag where are my papers? Hashtag join dark order jay says jam that jam and fuck that trump fuck that trump alina Joe, uh, alina lopez says i don't know how this money works because i'm a snot-nosed american oh well none of you are handsome except for andy by the way just saying uh honest man dave says hashtag jam that jam uh <laughs> look, at, look how happy andy is look how unironically pleased andy hey, is all handsome. Uh, alina lopez <laughs> Right. Okay. That that, expl- that explains it. Uh, thank you. Right. Thank you, Alina, world famous porn star. Oh well. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, thank you for your five pounds. Uh, Garrett says, "R.I.P. John Huber. Support Wrestle Talk. Support each other as we F.T.F. Not fuck that fuck, but fight that fight. Jam that jam and has given us one hundred pounds. Thank you. Thank you." anonymous uh saying you're all doing an amazing job my hubby watches you all uh watches you all every time it's on can you shout out to justin please hashtag uh, jam that jam come on ollie shout out to you justin thanks Hi, justin. so much for watching jam that jam justin jam that justin uh max mckenzie says glad to contribute to a worthy cause i picked up concept after seeing adam's video about party games can't wait to try it oh i'm so pleased that all the people who are buying board games now because of me i Gen- did because of you i know have you i, I mean I, I was gonna say have you played it yet but you no. need about four people to play uh, yeah. but you've got those foam guns so you can like go around your house and oh i i for sure pistol whipped people in my home with foam guns that has already happened Excellent. Uh, uh, Got to make sure you hold it sideways. Yes. Definitely. Oh, of course. You got style points. Uh, have you ever played uh, the game Chameleon? I so uh, once, yes, but I've played Spyfall a lot more, and they're very similar games. Yeah, I I thought so. I haven't played it yet, but I got it for Christmas, and I'm excited to to play it. It's good. Like it's it's a it's a prop it's a proper good party game. It's from Big Potato. Those guys mm-hmm. know what they're doing with party games. They make. Uh, as Vincent K. McMahon would say, such good shit. Uh, John Duart says, I love watching Quizomania. You guys helped me get through a lot in 2020. Thank you, John. Uh, Nick C says, much love to anyone. And thanks for contributing to provide much needed silliness during these weird, terrible times. You are very welcome. Guy Incognito said, Mr. Davies had DVDs in his youth. Guess he looks older than he is. When I was young, our DVDs were called VHS. And Guy Incognito has donated £69 and 69 pence. I have DVDs. Like, it's not that long ago. That I mean, DVDs still exist. <laughs> yes, that, that is true. You can still get them. Uh, yeah, I remember, like, I, 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 I was there when you crossed over. Like, obviously. Yeah, I, I have VHS as well. Yeah. But, like, I remember having, like, a proper collection of VHS. Oh, yeah, then, yeah. Which then turned, yeah. Like, I think, when did DVD come in? It was, like... Well, I still had Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban on VHS, and that was 2004, on, on, I think. I, yeah, I went first I heard of DVDs when WWF had SummerSlam 99 on a DVD, hmm. and it was advertised in their magazine, and I was like, what the hell is this? Like, what? In the yeah. 90s? In the 90s, sure. 99. I could have sworn, so I, I know I had VHSs. Like, VHSs, I think, were going out when I was going to uni, which was about 2005. Which doesn't seem right, does it? That seems like too recent. Yeah. Weird. I anyway. remember. I remember having uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on DVD when it just came out, and that was two thousand two. So I, I've just googled as I was doing earlier during the quiz. Um, <laughs> I it was two thousand eight when VHSs were discontinued. So okay, 
Fun story about Harry Potter. Uh, my best friend and I in high school were not exactly the most cultured of people. And we watched a DVD of Harry Potter for the first 10 minutes in French and just thought it was some weird nerd wizard <laughs> language. <laughs> and I was like, I know some of these words. <laughs> Am I a wizard? <laughs> my my party trick at uni to obviously this this got me a lot of friends. I was that I could do like the first pretty much half of the first film off like off by heart. All all the dialogue. I'm not going to do it right now because no, I don't want you to do it right time. now. What's everyone go on? What's everyone's party trick? I assume SRS is encyclopedia wrestling wrestling knowledge. Driving so. home sober. <laughs> That's about it, it. My, mine is just Harry Potter knowledge. Like I, I've, I have won many quizzes against thousands of people, which is really cool. Mine's oh, limboing. Lim really? really, really weirdly good at limboing. Yeah. So how does this come uh, up at a party? Uh, well, that's the thing. It doesn't. Like I, I, I would have to suggest it, and I don't want to be that guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would love to see you go. Hey, everybody! Can we just pause everything? I'm really good at limboing. <laughs> you've never seen Has a anyone man with, got a stick. You've never seen a man with legs as fat as me get so low. Honestly, I I, I do it, man. Uh, I, 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 I occasionally wrestle an invisible man oh, and do like I an act, I do an actual wrestling match. Ooh. I'd like to see that. Uh, Anonymous says, "Is it true that Ollie dresses up as Chopper and?" His lady partner is Ollie for those blue chew moments just to be told to dance. Uh, Kelsey Seymour says, it's Wednesday. You know what that means. 50 quid. Thank you so much, Kelsey. Uh, Decca Dane says, thanks again for another night of entertainment quizzing. My favorite Luke Harper memory, seeing him at a WWE house show in 2016 when he happily did muscle poses whilst teaming with Orton and Wyatt. Uh, Andy Hannon says, RIP Huber Boy 2. Also just wondering what Sean got at Wendy's. Oh, uh, it's a Coke Zero Cherry. I don't actually eat food from there. I just get the, the freestyle Coca-Colas. Uh, Andy, uh, sorry, Alan W. says it should have been Mr. Davis, our uh, jam that champion, honoring Mr. Brody Lee with a jam that jam across his, uh, his chest. Gregory Nelson says, yeah, yeah. Uh, CP Style says, RIP Brody Lee, would you be up for doing a fantasy roster video? Jam that jam, hashtag FT. F. Uh, I, I, I already do as many fantasy booking videos as I as I am honestly capable. Jack Archer says it's Wednesday. You know what that means. Ewan says it's been a great start to the it's been a good start to the year. Just got the form. Oh, good. That he does then go on to explain. Uh, just got the formal offer for a new job. Uh, birthday next Tuesday. Wow. Don't want to be wished happy birthday. I just want Adam to screw everyone and let Ollie win. Uh, sorry, I couldn't do it for you, bud. But thank you so much for forty pounds. Really appreciate it. And happy birthday on Tuesday. Congrats well, on the new, new gig, job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Speaking uh, of which, can I just quickly do a congratulations to WrestleTalk.com's own Nate Craver. Who also got a new job? He, not not from us. He he works for us part time. He also has another job, uh, oh, okay. but he was he's starting a job next week, which has been nice a long dude. time coming. Nice, also, very nice man. Uh, Anonymous uh, has given us £101. You all have been a major positive force for many people, myself included, in 2020. Please take my money and let's get Tempest some ink. Jam that jam. Vlad says, I wanted to do one more donation to say this. Fuck Disco Inferno. Quite yeah. yes, yeah, indeed. Fuck this. What's he about. done now? I, I like, I, I don't know, and I, I honestly don't want to know. But just like air, airing, airing trash, like just never mind. The lonely donkey says, "Who's your guys?" Oh, tag yeah. Sorry, who's your guys' tag team of the year? The right answer is Ty Chiba and uh, Zack Saber Junior. The tag tag mm. team of the year. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Um, young bucks i guess in 2021 it's gorillas of destiny there we go yeah um i it's weird because they broke up but i genuinely do think it's like kenny omega and hangman page you know they were just fantastic for so much of the year and they had so much story behind it mm. you know nope they're really yeah. really good um 
Toya, Toya, Toya says, I hope you all have a fucking fantastic 2021 hashtag jam that jam. Uh, Rob Greaves says, inspired to donate again uh, due to everyone's amazing generosity. Question for Mr. Davis, how many mantars are there? Uh, Andy Lindbergh says, using part of my stimulus check in uh, the US to support Mr. Brody Lee. Don't look over here. Everything is fine here. On the bright side, you Brits are now not the last to storm the capital. Love you guys. Uh, Patrick uh, Kiesler, Kessler. I think Kessler. Patrick Kessler. Jam that jam from Germany. Thank you so much, Patrick. Andy Good B says, guy. love the 2020 Quizlemania clip compilation. So hard to pick a fave. What's everyone's favorite Luke Harper, Brody Lee match? Uh, his ladder match with Ziggler at TLC 2014 was brutal and underrated. It's a good one. Uh, everyone's favorite Luke Harper slash Brody Lee match. I mean, I, my favorite Luke Harper match for sure is... Uh, oh, like I, I, I mean, of the ones I just want to see again, like as a match, I probably would say Shield versus the Wyatt. But Absolutely. in terms, of, in terms of a match, kind of really, kind of just on the back of Luke Harper and Luke Harper's talent, the two out of three falls at Battleground against the Usos is sensational. I'll give people a couple that they probably haven't seen: Brody and Shingo Takagi. Uh, in like I think, I think it was about ten years ago. In Dragon Gate was really good and really any of the stuff that he did with Cesaro in Chikara, but especially mm -hmm. the cage match. Mm. Yes. I, I will say, cause I used to work for Chikara as a video editor. And one of the things I had to do was like convert a bunch of video files. And it led to me watching just about every Brody Lee match that ever happened in Chikara. So there's some good stuff there. Oh, yeah. uh, that being said, like I love the Wyatt's versus shield match. That's one of my favorite matches of all time. And like my favorite Bl Brody Lee match is the dog collar match with Cody. I think it's just fantastic. Okay, dokie. Uh, Andy. Yeah, uh, well, Shield. Yeah, Shield Whites. Uh, Dylan uh, uh, Ashling says, "Been a while since we watched the stream, but just wanted to pop in and say, well done, supporting a great cause. Hope everyone is doing well in these tough times. Love from Cork. Hello, guys. So lovely to have you back." Evan Reich says. Uh, Glad to see SRS back. Also, I'd love to see a prices shite round where all the items are from Wish.com. Oh, I haven't done <laughs> any like Wish. That. A good idea. I haven't done any Wish prices shite. How has that passed me by? Oh, I know what we're doing all episode next time. Um, <laughs> Anton Palmgren. Palmgren? Uh, says I rarely cry, but Brody's passing really hit hard. Thank you for doing this, and thank you for all the fun. Much love from Malmo in Sweden. Um, Jaya Krishna Dasapan says, "Rest in paradise, John Huber." Uh, Anonymous says, "As always, Quizlemania helps provide an amazing distraction for of most of the world's events, from the lockdown here in the UK to the Congress Hall being currently under armed siege in the US." Thank you. Uh, apparently, this donation uh, came in just before Sean referenced it. This is from Brutality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> donating to an awesome cause and saying hello to my man Shawnee boy but seriously uh, you guys are doing amazing work as usual and I have so much respect for this much love thank you so much this is my brutality <laughs> <laughs> stamping on the ground uh, anonymous uh, just said in all caps give me papers yeah 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 jam that jam uh, Gabe has said, Roses are red, Violets are blue. I hope Tempest likes his brand new tattoo. Hannah M says, Cheering for Sean since no Luke. Hope Tempest loses uh, since he always kills me first in Among Us. Oh, wow. Sorry, who was that from? Was that from Hannah? Ha Hannah M, yeah. Oh, we love Hannah. Hannah's yeah. incredible. I'm sorry, Hannah. I genuinely didn't want to kill you first that time. You just oh. happened to follow me into electrical. Don't well, do that. <laughs> little cheap plug twitch.tv slash fightful gaming or over there yeah if you want to see stuff. that happen that's on fightful gaming when that's i was good. on their stream so go check that out uh, anonymous says being a lapsed wrestling fan thanks russo adam versus adam got me back into it a bit and then bte got me hooked again appreciate all you guys do r.i.p mr Brody lee hugo boogie knights chen has given us 50 pounds saying jam that jam tempest great cause guys uh, mike wright has just given us 20 quid thank you so much brutality has is back came in and donated just for that awesome shout out from sean ha <laughs> ha but shawnee boy my man you trying to beef what? oh what uh air quotes airy and personal dms hmm? by the looks of it there was some some beef of some sort attempted in those dms when i get something from someone named brutality 
<laughs> a fan of Brody says Tempest getting a JTJ tat. You know what that means? It means tramp stamp JTJ. Uh, Joel Van Etten says jam that fucking jam Tempest in honor of John Huber and also of my wife who passed away on the 16th. She loved you guys. Oh, Joel, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that, but thank you so much for your for your donation. Uh, and we're very happy that uh, Tempest getting uh, tattooed will uh, will bring 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 some happiness. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I think at this point in the chat, uh, you had ticked over into uh, five grand because a lot of these are. For... So thank you for uh, 23 Dame Deegan says, thank you for all the wonderful tributes you did for the exalted one, Mr. Brody Lee. As someone who lost their mam this year, you all helped me more than I can ever express, especially you, SRS, hashtag FTF. Appreciate uh, you, Sadie. Jordan says, hi guys, loving the quiz as always. What do you all think is the worst WWE slash WWF pay-per-view of all time? For me, it's In Your House 4, King Mabel versus Yokozuna being cherry on the shit Sunday. Jam that jam. I mean, December like, to dismember, probably. Yeah, in terms of stuff you just wouldn't want to re-watch, like you just really wouldn't want to. December to dismember. Yeah. I mean, it's quick. It's like two yeah. hours, you know. Well, I, I like I didn't watch most of the in your houses. I was watching every pay per view ever and stopped right when in your house started. But December to dismember is just so bad. It's really bad. Uh, if you want to step out spot outside the WWE spectrum, I think it's AWA Super Clash Three was just a travesty to watch. What kind well, of if you? Go ahead. What? what no, you go. You go. I I will. I will say my piece after AWA. Uh, what what kind of matches were on the card? Um, I remember there was a lingerie battle royal that was particularly bad. Um, yeah, it was so so bad. It was a street fight lingerie battle royal. But I mean, there were some honest to god like legends in there. Like Luna Vachon was in there. Um, gosh, I feel like there were a couple people. There were like three WWE Hall of Fame women on this show, but they they were treated so terrible. And um. It was won by a character named the Syrian terrorist. Okay. Lovely. Done yeah. talking about that show. Uh, Tempest, yeah. what are you going to say? I was going to say, if you want to go outside of WWE, uh, Heroes of Wrestling is the oh. worst wrestling show of all time. Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Go and uh, go head on over to Wrestling with Regret and watch me and uh, me. <laughs> Me and good old Brian Zane break it down. It just passed a million views, so you know it's good. Um, Rich uh, Black Adam says, hey, guys, missing the live show. Too busy watching our Capitol building get stormed. We'll catch it on the replay. Just stopped and say, good luck, Sean. Rich from Connecticut says, I lost three family members in the last 35 days of 2020 and having such great distractions with WrestleTalk and the WrestleTalk family and friends. Yes, even USRS has been very helpful. Why does so this keep happening? <laughs> People you just... and you, you bastard. You too, SRS. <laughs> you famously horrible person, yeah. SRS. Uh, Anonymous says, uh, also, Rich, uh, thank you so much for your donation. And I, I'm all we can say is we're sorry and but we support mm -hmm. you. Uh, Anonymous says, jam that jam. Good luck, Tempest. Uh, ben Priest says, holla, holla, holla. You know what that means. Holla, holla, holla. Randy should be proud of that song was another reason WrestleTalk gave me a reason to smile uh, during 2020. Thanks so much. Uh, thanks for doing so much during 2020 and raising money for so many good causes. I am. I, I offered Ollie to do a full Christmas Christmas uh, single album, but right. uh, no, he didn't. He wasn't interested. Uh, money down the drain. Uh, Chris Petru says, best wishes and support to John's family. We all miss you. Uh, thank you for all the smiles that you put on our faces. Andrew Black says, watching Ollie Davis play That's My Line is like watching a snake eat itself. Hashtag brutality. Uh, Alex, a long-time listener, first-time donator. And what a donation, £75. Thank you so much. But I can't think of a better cause. Who is the most underrated female wrestler in AEW? Why is it Danny Jordan? Jam that jam, big rig. Um, Penelope Ford, maybe she's really good. I like her a lot. I think, from an in ring perspective, Britt Baker is actually one of the most underrated because, like, her transitions have gotten so smooth and seamless lately. Uh, Serena Deeb has been awesome yeah, since yeah, she really. came back, but um, there, yeah, there, there are so many that I would love to see get more time, but yeah, well, all of the, all of the Joshi girls 
that haven't been able to be there. Like, you know, we barely saw any of Yuka Sakazaki yeah. before the pandemic. And I mean, she's fantastic. You know, Aja Kong, we saw her maybe two or three times before all that. And she's a legend. Yeah. Uh, Shane is agree. back now. I did like, just like sneakily came back. Yeah. Give me more Jamie Hayter. She's great. Mm -hmm. I like her. I believe we have passed 6.5 thousand pounds. Oh, very Ooh, good. That's a bunch of tattoos is what that is. I don't know why yeah. it's 6.5 thousand. That's weird. Six and a half thousand. <laughs> we actually have 6,606 pounds. Oh, dear. Haunted. Um, someone donate quick. Um, Hmoose805 says, had a lump in my throat the whole way through the tribute show. It felt weird being so upset at first, but you guys showing your natural reactions made me feel better about that. Love the reviews. Hashtag FTF. Brett J. Rasmussen says, Brody Lee was one of the best wrestlers and all-round person. Uh, by the way, Andy's punishment of Kelly Kelly's theme is the best video I've ever seen from WrestleTalk. R.I.P. Brody Lee. Thank you very Maybe much. I shouldn't do it. I tried. Holla. Okay, one holler. There you go. <laughs> And it's getting funny again. Hashtag yes. BX for oh, hashtag BX for life. Hashtag jam that jam. BX for life. Dusty Bottom uh, says, "Wow, Tempest, great course. So take my money, forty pounds at that, and enjoy your new tattoo. Jam that jam." Mike Riley says, "R.I.P. John Huber. Prayers and wishes to your family." Chris Chandler's just given us twenty pounds, but we appreciate it. Angela and Tim says, "Don't forget the aftercare once you get your tattoo." Thank you guys for all your hard work through this tough last year. Lots of love from New Jersey. Laugh tracks. So sorry, guys, we'll be able to join you live for this one as my 27th birthday today hope you're all well and jam that jam happy birthday laugh track happy birthday, happy birthday. Uh, anonymous says uh, jam that bloody jam greg j ford has given us 20 pounds thank you these or niece hello says thank you for all the entertainment over the last few years can anyone tell me why new japan fights look like fights while wwe bouts look like the beginner's class for actors well the editing doesn't do wwe any favors yeah, diff, diff, it's a it's a it's a different different style. It's a different production. Uh, it's yeah, it's just a completely different product, and therefore it looks different. Yeah, I mean the New Japan style is meant to be more sport based, mm -hmm. and they hit each other very hard in safe places, and sometimes not safe places. But we don't like that. Whereas you know WWE, they try and cover up as much of the the actual fighting as possible. You know that's why they do so many camera cuts and such. I love it. It's the one thing that I wish would have an immediate change. I've had frustrated wrestlers that come to me and they say, we don't know why that we're doing some of these moves when people can't see them. Uh, yeah, it's very frustrating for me and for them. Yeah. I can't remember what, what was the match most recently? It was just absolutely abominable. Uh, I think it was, um, guy being put through a table on the outside and they literally cut yes. away at the moment of the table impact, do some silly bullshit almost. in the ring. And then, was yeah, it almost yeah. Ziggler, yeah, or yeah, somebody. It's just unbelievable. Uh, Greg says, donating such a good cause, RIP John Huber. Sebastian B says, just a shout out to Matthew for the generous donation. Hell yeah, and happy new year to everyone at Wessel Talk. Hashtag jam that jam. Anonymous says, love your channel. Uh, Son of Mantor says, congratulations on raising money for a good cause, boys, and enjoy your tattoo, Tempest. Who do you each think has the greatest wrestling moustache ever? Dutch Mantel, surely. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good shout. Um, um, yeah, uh, it's, yeah, his is really good. Rick Rude. In terms, of, in terms of actually good, yeah, Rick Rude is phenomenal. Mag Rude. Magnum TA had a good one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Classic seventies porn stash. Yeah, Dexter Loomis. That's not. Let's not overlook the uh, the new. Uh, Jonathan says first time donating, but it's for a great cause. Thanks for everything you guys do. Great to watch live. Hashtag FTF. Hashtag Jam. Uh, stop filming. AK start recording. Says hey guy Adam. Have you played a game called The Chameleon? Uh, it's been my family's favorite game over the last two weeks. I, I have, but like. Basically, I have another game that does almost exactly the same thing. So I didn't buy the Chameleon. I have played it. It's very good. But Spyfall is my is my one true gaming love. I, I love it so dearly. Um, also, when Finn Balor probably returns to the main roster, do you think it'd be Raw or SmackDown? Uh, I think Raw. Yeah. I yeah, agree. probably. But yeah, he's never been on SmackDown, really. So but, he, yeah, he was. I could do that. Oh, was I he? he was. Yeah, I thought so. I could be. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Oh, I don't. I don't back. think he has. You know, because yeah, he debuted on 
Raw as part of the draft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know oh, if he's he ever was. been on SmackDown. Yeah, I mean yeah, they kind yeah, of like, they got rid the, of uh, Rand split. Well, he did but... in the the shakeup last year, and then they were just like wild card. And then <laughs> after that, he went to NXT. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean that I, tracks. I'm but that was like six months of when there was no real bland, brand split. Oh, it was a bland <laughs> split. It was a bland <laughs> split. Well, but what? then he moved to NXT. And... Sorry. So there wasn't much, but yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he managed to talk his way into staying in NXT for the rest of his W career, if he can. If he can. What a shit time to get moved to NXT, like a few months before everybody just stayed in Florida all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, still... Um, very much looking forward to seeing the yeah the rematch with Kyle. That's going to be so good. I hope Giraffe Man says Mr. Davis's guesses are more white than his tea. Thanks for doing these charity live streams. Would you consider inviting members of New Legacy Inc? Always a possibility. Hashtag Jam That Tempest. Hashtag R.I.P. Brody Lee. Uh, Emma and Ian saying rest in peace, John Huber. You were taken too early. Brian Doyle uh, giving a thirty pounds saying hi guys. I hope you're doing well. I think it's amazing you're doing this to honor John Huber. You. Uh, all a true class act also quick question does sean know the pigeon story <laughs> hashtag jam that jam what no. i would what i would say is um i don't think any of us can tell the pigeon story as well as luke did so no. it's it's in it's in the best of quiz mania i would okay. thoroughly it, it's right at the end of the best of quiz mania luke tells a story about pigeons which genuinely like had me like gasping for air it's I love it's, pigeons it's well wow. so we don't we so, don't have them around here so when i went to toronto i was like oh my god pigeons everywhere oh, yeah. uh jono from tyrone north island uh northern island says i know it's been said by many of us already but thank you for all the consistent entertainment and quizzlemania being one of the few things to look forward to during 2020 kudos tempest r.i.p brody uh tony canine says my first time donating you guys got me through a lot love everything you do and long may it last whether it be quizzlemania or the news love you guys uh steve says are you surprised the miss hasn't yet beaten jericho's ic title record yeah, i figured as soon as he joined uh, aew they do it the next week they could uh you'll happen i'm I it, no, it will happen for sure i have no doubt about that uh well, george technically jericho's at 10 because he was the iwgp intercontinental champion yeah he does say that they'll beat that too <laughs> oh yeah just to be just to be safe um George Down says, R.I.P. John Huber, thoughts and prayers to his family and friends. On a lighter note, after seeing Dick Togo take that incredible table spot at Wrestle Kingdom, favorite table spot in wrestling history? I have, uh, I think, three. And it's from the Triangle Ladder Match, TLC1 and TLC2, and they all involve Matt Hardy. It's Matt Hardy getting... Like flipped off the table at WrestleMania 2000, yeah, where the table just like explodes into a million pieces. Oh, it's so him, satisfying. Him going backwards off the ladder at SummerSlam 2000, and then uh, Matt Hardy and Bubba Ray both getting pitched through the stacked up tables because no one ever gets all four tables. There's always one left. Yes, but those them. two took took out all four of them. In terms of just the the most satisfying table smash yeah like uh bubba and matt going through the tables at tlc2 is you you literally could not design a more beautiful looking explosion of four tables it's it's Um, incredible gotta put over the one at wrestle kingdom this week uh on the little tiny table the inside out over the barricade but just to go a different era my favorite table spots were back in the day when they would keep those giant crt screens on each each yeah. end so when they'd somebody went through the middle they'd fall in so <laughs> i love diesel and brett i love ahmed and d'lo because ahmed was dangerous in general and he's just hossing up d'lo <laughs> before weight loss mind you and just like half ass pro over plunging him through a, a violent table i love that one <laughs> Do, are we counting announcers tables as, as in <laughs> commentators yeah sure well not. then just in terms of memorable Mankind being thrown off the top of Hell in a Cell. That's yeah, a table spot, yeah, yeah. I guess. No, I, also, I, th- I think we would be remiss to not mention it. Yeah. Also, Edge uh, getting the attitude adjustment off the ladder in the TLC match from Cena. Also, Edge taking the choke slam through the double stack at uh, Hell in a Cell. Uh, I think it was Slam 08. Those, those, yep. like, in best wow. table spots video? I want to watch it. 
Wow. You know, now that we've started creeping footage into it, that's actually a thing we can do. All right, I'm 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 gonna make a little note of that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've already written it for me. Much appreciated. Wow. Uh, all right, there we go. Do a 10 best arm wrestling matches and it'll do like 40 million views. And I'm serious. It will. That shit draws and I don't know why. All right. <laughs> Razzy B, such a worthy cause. RIP Brody Lee. Uh, Andrew Black says, it's uh, it means the world to me to have this bit of uh, tattoo and nipple-based tomfoolery during the Twilight Zone times. All my love to the WrestleTalk extended universe. Hashtag. <laughs> oh, God. No, I, it, it just it, it surprised me, lads. Hashtag Rudy Giuliani fingers dogs. It, it, really, it really just like, oh, that is a that is a sudden turn. Uh, <laughs> Fuck him. Oh my god. He shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that. I uh, uh, on the topic of fingering dogs. What? Almighty! I went. I went to school with someone who once was like, "We were talking about our pets," and he was like, "Oh yeah, well sometimes my dog gets an erection." I'm like, "Right." He's like, "Oh yeah," and we just sort of help him out. I'm like, "What?" And he thought that that was completely normal and that everyone did it. There you go. That's my story. (laughs) Thanks, pal. EJ says uh, we're live, pal. H- hey guys, great content as always. Rest in power, yeah. Mr. Brody Lee, John Huber. Also, is the great Okan the Baron Corbin of New Japan Pro Wrestling? Baron Corbin's no. good. Baron Corbin's no, way better in the ring, not even close. Also, who do you want to see Abushi feud with next? Not Sonata. <laughs> I didn't want. I didn't want it to be Sonata, but I don't know about next. Yeah, I want him to face Tanahashi. In a huge title match at some point. Yeah, that would be really, really good. Um, Matt Carmen says, I just want to thank you all for what you do. It really does help so many people. I must say the AEW Brody Lee episode is one of the most respectful and heartwarming pieces of TV. Uh, John Duthie says, uh, oh, I said nothing, but just given this £10. Thank you very much. Uh, Bailey Donovan says, been a big fan for the past five years of Adam at What Culture and all the lads from Wrestle Talk. Keep on doing your great work. Hashtag jam that jam. Fuck that fuck. Hashtag RIP Brody Lee. Anonymous has just said love and sent us five pounds. Thank you so much. Uh, Wadi Rahman says RIP John Huber. Question, what was your favorite match? What has your favorite match been from Wrestle Kingdom 15? I know SRS's favorite match was Okan versus Tanahashi, but I'd give it to Cobb versus Takagi. Uh, jam that jam. Uh, obviously, we know Tempest's Jay White versus Kota Ibushi. Osprey Okada. Osprey Okada. Um, Andy. What's your favorite match from Wrestle Kingdom 15? Oh, well, of all the ones I've watched, <laughs> it's got to be the the first women's tag. <laughs> I haven't seen the show yet. I will get on that, but I am I I've got board game content to to write. It's keeping me busy. Uh Stunny Ray says, love the streams for the cause. Always a class act by the group. RIP Mr. Brody Lee, JTJ, and FTF, 30 pounds. Uh Priest uh has given us 200 pounds. Oh. Question yeah, for all you, of Damien. you. A question for all of you. How has being in wrestling journalism changed your perspective on the industry compared to just when you were a fan? Uh, rest in peace, John Huber, and thank you for everything. Uh, I, I like, I, it's tricky, man. I don't want to sound negative, but I, yeah, my opinion I of the industry has gone down. Before I started writing about wrestling and knowing more about wrestling and hearing about things that happen in wrestling. Um, but I still like watching it. Uh, I just probably don't watch as much as I used to when I was a fan. I think I would say, obviously, my respect for individual wrestlers has Mm. multiplied by itself so many times. But my respect for a lot of the kind of hallmarks and facets of the industry has been negatively affected, I would say. Yeah, yeah, like I'd probably say, like, I still find myself being a fan about as much as I was, but maybe just kind of tired of some, some wrestlers just being pricks. Yeah. You know, like you see, you interact with people a lot more, and it's a lot easier to be a fan when you don't interact with them. What about you, SRS? Everything's peachy. I'm never upset. Nothing wrong ever happens. 
Uh, who, yeah, who's I, the worst I, person you've ever encountered on Twitter in, uh, in, in the wrestling world? In the wrestling world, uh, I don't know. Well, you, you, the the typical guys that try to pretend to be wrestling writers and then they're not. Um, yeah, th th those fellas. I mean, in the, in the last week, it was Bruce Mitchell. Like what he did, I thought was madly fucked. Mm -hmm. And for somebody who that I, I greatly respected to not just set back wrestling media many, many, many years, but just general human decency. Yeah, that one, that, that's the greatest amount of respect I've, I've lost for somebody in this line of work in such a short amount of time. Oh, yeah. O outside I, of weird sexual stuff that, like, happened in June, besides that. Yeah, 2020 has been a, been, a, been a heck of a heck of a year. Uh, Virgil Nomodo says, happy to donate to the first charity stream of the year. Wish I could give more. Uh, update from last Quizlemania. COVID test was negative. Uh, student as well. Uh, thank you, WrestleTalk team, for everything you do. Jam that jam. 2021. It's given us 40 pounds. Thank you so much, Virgil. Uh, S has just said, our truth is currently a 46 time 24 seven champion. Okay. How has none of those run runs been longer than the Gronk's single <laughs> run? And what do you think would actually make it fun again? I, uh, I think I genuinely think it's past that point. I, I think just go ahead. Sorry. Just be creative. There you go. Stop using like the same people too. Yeah. For fuck's sake, like people like the hardcore title because they did cool. F Obviously, you can't do that stuff right yeah. now. But do a skit at the airport. Do a skate. Do a skit at Chuck E. Cheese. You know, Crash Holly was hilarious. Do stuff like that. Yeah. Giving Absolutely. giving someone that belt is like a like a life sentence. Of yeah, we've 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 given up really. Like guys are getting it the other day. I went, oh no. Right. Well, that's him done for another year. Yeah, it, it's it's a way of saying it's just like we don't know, we don't yeah. know, but we'll get you on TV somehow. Here's your here's your, here's your booty I have, prize. I have to interject here because I just got a, a text from Cody Rhodes's uh, community number, and he will be making uh, I believe his entrance to his song performed by Snoop Dogg on Dynamite today. Oh and that, boy, that sounds amazing. <laughs> Nothing reminds me of Snoop Dogg more than Cody Rhodes. I gotta say. <laughs> I mean, there's some Dan real Dan. music stuff. They, they got the they got the rights to to Tarzan Boy. Was it, was it that was called? that's pretty cool. I I yeah. bet that didn't cost them that much for that one, but that's really really cool. More licensed music in wrestling. I love mm. it. One of the biggest changes I would make: give people real songs again. Uh, nowhere to fly to says i work for mayo clinic so this kind of feels like giving my money back to my boss but i'm simultaneously proud that we could take care of brody in his final days thanks guys love you thank you so much obviously yes, for thank everything you. you do yep. uh dan brotherton says uh hi i bought uh hi bought ec3 and aew's brody lee tribute show brody lee was incredible still can't believe he is gone so honored i got to see him live in newcastle uh brody lee jr is going to be a megastar uh kane medhurst says the way you guys are doing uh good things for John Huber, his uh, family and people involved is just inspiring. RIP, John, we will all miss you. Hope everyone has a safe 2021. Uh, Anonymous says, Tempest, go back to Winnipeg. <laughs> I'm from Toronto, you idiot. There it is. Uh, Priest says, a quick follow-up question. How many rounds are there? Delightful stuff. Uh, Turnabout forces. I hope Tempest feels shame for the Canadian juniors team's loss. I mean, they're kids. I don't feel that much shame. <laughs> Yeah, but you do still feel some, don't you? <laughs> I'm, I'm disappointed we didn't win, but it's also a hockey team comprised of like 16 and 17 year olds. I will yeah. cut them some slack. Lynn Bell says, it's been a long time, but I'm back for a great course. Thank you so much for doing all you do. Take care of yourselves. Much love from Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. Um, yeah. Anonymous says, hey guys, been watching Adam for a while and I love that you're supporting a great cause. Adam, how do you feel about a top 10 entrance music vid? So like, it's that's one I'd love to do, but would you really want to watch a top 10 video where we couldn't use the music? Because that's the thing that gets copyrighted the quickest. I like, I like the song that goes, On This Day I See Clearly. <laughs> that's my favourite. Imagine. Is that your impression of me, Datsun? No, that's my impression of everyone who's a knob. You're not <laughs> well, really. It isn't you. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it is my... It is, my so is, is he saying that you're a knob? Yeah, Apparently yeah, yeah. so, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> it's my impression of, of, yeah, of people 
<laughs> sounding silly. There you go. Give us give us a few like your 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 top few, not necessarily in order or anything, Adam. But like, can we have who, a live top ten? Like, uh, I think ask like? Ollie, and you think he'll probably know mine based on today's round. Mine, my top one is uh, Metalingus. I don't really see the the clamor behind Batistas, if I'm honest. <sighs> It's fine. It's fine. What's uh, wrong with you, man? Uh, Cult of Personality, I think, might be my favorite. It's such a good song. Unfair. That was a hit song decades before. We're talking like, we're talking, Saliva was like, all right, Jim Johnson's got the framework done. Now let's make this even better. Like, that's yeah. that's what I admire about that. Metalingus, great song, but that was just an Alter Bridge song. This one is like, all right, well, WWE's already got this song. Let's see how what we can do with it. They do that with a few. Guilty pleasure. Hey, nothing you can oh, say. So mad. Yeah. That was so mad. Hey. <laughs> by, by the same logic, though, just do Enter Sandman. That was an entrance song. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Uh, he's, he's nothing without it. Um, as we found out from WWE CW. No, I'm being unkind. Am I? I don't know. Uh, but uh, I like Christians. I, I think his, his WDB theme would have been good for like anybody else. It was. It wasn't too bad, but for anybody else, it would have been better. You just can't take it from him. Uh, Alec Farmer says, "How many Vince McMahon's it takes a screw in a light bulb? None. The light bulb screwed the light bulb. Very good." Uh, Anonymous says, "I found out about Brody because of Sean's live stream. Also, Sean never to uh, never be achieved. Also, Sean never be achieved to be a journalist. I think that means never be ashamed to be a journalist." Ah, wow. I'm not ashamed. It's just uh, fucking weirdos on the internet that are like all these. So-called journalists. I have the phrase so-called journalist in quotes uh, muted, but the irony is that most of the doofuses that write that don't know how to use quotes, so they always mess it up. So they'll put so, quote, called journalists in there. I, I, li I like it when people call uh, call something clickbait just because we haven't explained the entire story in the headline. Or, I don't know, because they don't understand the concept of the internet. Yes. We cannot. We want you to visit our website. We want you to click on this. That's why we wrote it. That's why we sought out the information in which we are writing about. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Click Sorry that we can't give you everything so that you can keep on stroll scrolling past us never to return. I'm a synonym for, I don't want to read this. <laughs> Ryan Doyle says, to, oh my gosh, we've done over an hour of the post show. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. because of you. Thank you so much for, for donating, everyone. Brian Doyle says, two questions. What are your thoughts on Dark Side of the Ring doing a Nick uh, Gage episode in season three? Uh, two, what do you want to see on Dark Side of the Ring season three? Um, and RIP, John Hube, you'll be sorely missed. I really don't know that much about Nick Gage, honestly. Um, so, I don't no, know. Same. Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to see the Punk Cabana WWE lawsuit covered though. Did they did they properly do the steroid like scandal in the trial? You know everything from like nineteen ninety one, I think it was, all the way through. Like I that I, I like seeing that timeline of behind the scenes WWF would be fascinating to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, there, there's several that I want to see. I think they're going to have plenty plenty of opportunity. People in the chat saying, "Seems like the time to berate your fan base." That ain't our fan base, I don't think, guys. If if you're one of the people that's like, clickbait! Well, then I, I get the feeling you're probably not that familiar with the concept of the internet to begin with. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. probably not also our fans. Uh, yeah. Jack Archer if you're, says... If, if you're offended by being told not to be a dick, yeah. you know... If you, if you don't want to read our stuff, don't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's true yeah we're 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 coming we're coming out swinging jack archer says adam i wondered if you ever played a game called dakara it got very popular over here in the late 80s early 90s and pretty much vanished i've not heard of that i will look it up thank you so much I, uh, a board game i haven't heard of is always a great find uh tofa marty has given us a hundred pounds saying i wish i had an original message what else can i say but thank you for all you do thank you very much tofa that's amazing uh daniel says r.i.p john huber jo love wrestle love quiz mania got me into fightful and now i watched lots of fightful too what is a random yeah. dream match you want to see for me it's tomohiro ishii versus kurt angle oh, oh yes yep that sounds a lot of fun no necks in that match <laughs> not a single Absolutely. uh my biggest dream match ever is brett versus kurt angle 
but like Sean versus Eddie Guerrero was up there. Sean versus The Rock. Uh, Brett versus Tanahashi. Give me all those. Cannot believe we never got. Uh, oh, I, I can believe we never got Rock. You know, Sean. <laughs> I, I can believe it, but just like just just missed each other. Um, and yeah, yeah. Uh, You're all legends. Says, have you seen any terrible backyard wrestling shows? And why are they so bad? I don't. I don't. I've that. been in some terrible backyard wrestling shows Me in too. my day. I've been in some indie shows that probably should not have qualified for indie shows. I don't know how they got licensed, but yeah, some real bad ones. Uh, Daz Reynolds says, who will win the Royal Rumble? I think pretty much all of us think it's going to be D. Bry. Uh, Callum Wilford says, did you guys see Eddie Kingston's tribute on BTE? It was yes. brilliant. R.I.P. Brody. It was. Uh, what? I mean, one of the most charismatic spellbinding talkers uh, I think there's ever been. Like, he's such mm -hmm. a, a unique voice. And yeah, like, I, it, I yeah, spellbinding to watch. Really, really yeah. moving as well. I don't think anyone in wrestling feels more real than Eddie Kingston. Yeah. And that kind of shows it. Uh, Luke Walsh says, it's also my birthday today, as well as Adam Pearson. <laughs> Happy birthday, Luke. Uh, you guys are the greatest human beings ever. Love you guys. Jam that jam. Jam that jam. Happy birthday. Patrick uh, Frugia says, thank you for what you're doing. Uh, considering how WWE has always been at its most popular when it reflects where culture and society is at, how do you feel they can be culturally relevant again? It's not with retribution say that mm -mm. <sighs> they need they need a mainstream star they haven't like wwe has not had a guy like steve austin or the rock since steve austin or the rock and it's been almost like 20 years at this point they you actively know? work against it i mean yeah. like i said they've, they've got drew mcintyre doing hulk hogan's poses and dorking out over him instead of the other way around hulk hogan should be like fuck yeah this is drew mcintyre i'm so excited to be here like that's yeah. the point of the rub. Yeah, they they push the brand. WWE is the star as opposed to anyone on the show. And I also want to bring up very quickly as it was pointed out in the chat, uh we it wasn't specified, but the Women's Royal Rumble should Ooh. should we uh say who Bianca. we want to win that or who oh, we think will win cuz I want Bianca to win. Well, I, I think Charlotte will win, but I but I hope someone Leah yeah, like like Bianca do you know what? I'd love to see someone just unexpected. Like, I don't know, Liv Morgan. She just turns up and wins it. They, uh, they should I, do that with one of these Royal Rumbles. Since they do two of them a year, have somebody completely outside the box do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I'd, I'd love Naomi to win it. Uh, I'd love someone to actually do, like, the Kofi Kingston style story all the way through. Like, actually escape elimination multiple times go the distance and, and, and win the thing. I think that'd be great. Uh, similarly, I, I think it would be Charlotte. Um, yeah. But, just, you know, can they coexist? I'd, I'd like to see Bailey win it and face Sasha again at WrestleMania. But, I mean, Bailey's been losing a lot. So maybe that's the... May, maybe we're doing, like, maybe Charlotte will win and Bailey will have not been eliminated and come in and shit can of, who knows. Um, uh, Ronnie, and this is uh, our last Ultra Chat of the night uh ronnie says i just want to say thank you for sean for his rant against mitchell fuck that guy well that seems like the the right note to end on uh fuck that guy also anonymous has just given us 10 pounds thank you cool. so much uh thank you so much to you all uh oh, oh, total. absolutely from a, from a show, I will be completely honest, I wasn't sure I wanted to do to ending up having a pretty damn fun time. Um, happy first Quizzlemania 2021, everyone. Uh, be kind to each other, please. Lots of love. Uh, thank you to our, our, our guests. Uh, congratulations to Tempest on retaining his championship. The streak continues. Thank you so much to Sean for stepping back into the lion's den. <laughs> See you when the ratings are low so next week then all right thank you everyone <laughs> lots of love bye 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 bye, bye. bye. bye.